computer. scenes because I think it's kind of mean that this game has a bunch of bonus scenes and you only get them in the first three chapters before you probably have any mono coins. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's fine. The other game only had one bonus scene and it was in chapter three. Okay, so starting in chapter one, I need to talk to Mahiro but right away. God damn it. Just touch it. Hmm? Just touch it. Okay, so I need to talk to Mahiro tomorrow morning, and then I need to talk to Kazuichi before Byakuya takes us to the... Uh... Jabba Rock Island, and I don't know which part of the game it is because we've already been pri provided a motive. Oh, wait, what was the motive this time around? Was it just the fact that, uh... Oh, by the way... No, that's, that's later on. I can't remember if there, there even was a motive the first chapter. The thing is, with this game, the prologue and the, chap the first chapter kind of feed into each other. Looks like I finally collected all of them. Monokuma appears! Oh, you just got here, boy, and you're already done! Please. Well done! You're such a good boy for collecting all of them. Huh? So Are you this. serious? This must be your second time through, or your third time, or that's amazing. Special bleeding service! Now you get surprise fan service time! <laughs> Shing! <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh, we, we haven't get, uh, seen that one yet, have we? That's new. <laughs> so, who knows? Satisfied? Well, bye bye. bye. <laughs> it's just a compilation of all of his poses. That's it. I believe there is another scene there, but I'll need to double check that because I forgot that we would need we would be seeing that. Um. Don't fucking have hidden Monokuma's bookmark for some reason. Okay, so just double checking. Close through that. I think that's it. No, that's it. <laughs> Hajime Hinata, understandably, is upset. Alright, let's go talk to my hero now. Ah! Hi. I don't remember Huh? No, this this was happening. Hey. This happened. Damn it! This is the this is the hard part, cause sometimes I, I don't know. Ah. Ah! This is bad. Wrong! Ah! Oh yeah, because they want to escape, so you gotta kill someone. I don't remember, yeah, I don't know, I don't remember when Byakia specifically takes us to Jabberwock Island, but I know I need to talk to Mahiro right now. Before going to the restaurant, so I'm gonna find her. You in here? No. Fuck it. 
Where's my hero? Where the fuck are you at? She's up here! How does this work? Have the item and speak to Mahiro Koizumi before going into the restaurant and providing them and during the morning after Monokuma provides a motive. Alright. But she's not out here. She's in the restaurant already. Do I... Is this another day? Like, uh... So obtuse. <laughs> Hamsters! This feels so weird. It feels like the ending scene where everyone's like, and alive and together. Seems like he knows more than he lets on, but the player assumes that's just because he's Byakia from the first game, but he's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the part where I need to talk to Kazuichi. So I gotta find him. So I might as well talk to you. Hey. Got it. Gosh, boys just mind their own business. Huh? Um. Miss Mahiro said to ask me to take a leadership position. Jeez. <laughs> hey, hey! Think about it, Sonia. Don't you think you should be a leader instead? Um, I'm certain I am ill suited to be one. You are a literal princess. I... Huh? Please listen! <laughs> um. <sighs> hey, hey! No, I leave that matter to you. I like to find fucking Kazuichi. Where's the boy at? Okay, so he's in the hotel. Couldn't miss you if I tried. Ah! What's wrong you. with you? <laughs> Wah! The same thing happened last hey! time, too. How many times are you gonna surprise me? You were literally looking at you. I just spoke to you normally. Anyway, you should hurry over the park. Damn it! I'm going back to my room. Seriously, this is all just one big house. Ah! Damn it! Seriously, we're on a tropical paradise, then why are we in this situation in the first place? Isn't that right? Isn't vacation supposed to be nothing but lounging around and soap sipping coconut juice? Relax, snapping at me won't change a thing, hey! okay? It's decided. You better come to the beach with me later. Huh? For coconuts, damn it! I saw some big ones that fell onto the shore. Oh, you did? I figured out how to split them open, but once I do, we're gonna have ourselves some sweet coconut juice. 
That reminds me, I have a replica sword. We might be able to split them open, open if we use it. All right! And let's have ourselves a coconut party on the beach. What should I do? Should I agree? Yes! <laughs> nice reply, my friend. That's what I like to hear. Let's hurry up to the park and get on with what Yaka has to say. All right. So we're going to do that. So we're gonna split the split the Yep. Nice. Okay, so I'm assuming I'm gonna assume that uh oh actually I should be walking because I have to get Monokuma out of my fucking party. Uh <laughs> look at this whole pitch ass bitch. Yeah, look at that. You pit you you pooped in the fucking bin and now I'm not just gonna let I'm just gonna let you die. Yeah, so there are a couple things I need to do during this wrap-up, and raising my little shit stange of a child is one of them. So I guess Monokuma provides a different uh, motive. And that's when we need to talk to my hero? I don't know. Provides a different motive. Yeah, like a like a motive. Like he talks to us about how you need to kill each other in the prologue, but I guess there's more. It's probably because no one's gonna fucking do it. Yeah. I just I feel bad because I've completely forgotten. Oh yeah, wasn't his motive that he was gonna give our our memories back? Mm -hmm. But like he doesn't. I never said. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there's a bomb. That seems weird. Mahiro, you got anything you want to say? Man, this entire fucking game takes place over the course of 21 days. That seems horribly s small. It's like not, not even a full month. Kazuichi told me to come to the beach and I totally forgot. He'll probably yell at me if I ditch him, so I guess I should go. He's gonna be in a fucking speedo. Oh, hi, Taro Taro. What the fuck What's are you up? doing here? Ah, here he comes. I was waiting for you, Hajime. Hello there. Gee, he's making me wait like that. He was such, uh, you're such a naughty little kitten. Hmm? You're too, here too, Taro Taro. <laughs> mm, to be able to taste the natural flavor of freshly picked coconuts. I spend most of my time in places like Ayo Ayama or Azu Azabu, so this really is something I get to I rarely get to experience. My curiosity as a chef, chef has stimulated me. Hey! Who cares? Come on, this is the coconut we were looking for. Uh, it's pretty big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's got loads of juice inside of it. How are we gonna split it open? Huh? Yeah, well, Hajime's gonna split it with in, in a bang with that replica sword of his. No wait, if I try to split it open, I might spill the juice all over the place. Right! Terra Terra. You know, you already know. You split these when you cook them, right? Um... No, I don't use such a barbaric cooking technique. Understand. My t style is to use a sensitive, delicate touch, no matter who or what I'm handling. <laughs> How about it, care for a taste? Why are you so gay? <laughs> like, I don't mean... <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way, I just... Terra Terra, you just... Why are you such a perv? Why are you so thirsty all the time? Why are you so thirsty? For a cook, you just seem super malnourished. Speaking of which, Ibuki... Ibuki! 
I got a gaggle of goosebumps all over my skin. Honk, 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 honk. Whoa! Ah! Ibuki, when did you? Hello! I just got here. <laughs> I was holding hands with Pekko and going for a walk, but I... Why is she so lesbian? Ah! Like, Ibuki and, and Taro Taro could be best friends if they just appreciate the fact that they're super gay and they could just hang out with each other. Talk about boys. Talk about girls. They probably talk about girls because Taro Taro is definitely bi, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Now I gotta get fangs. I was holding. <laughs> She's holding no. hands with Pekko. We weren't holding hands. Mm -hmm. Mm. I can't stop drooling. Yes. A, I see it. A moist lily glistening with morning dew blooming vibrantly on a tropical island. I'm pretty sure when the sun goes down, Miss Pekko is the one who frolics in Miss Ibuki's lily field at night. Hey. Don't fantasize about weird things. And? More importantly, what are you all huddling around for? Well... Actually, we were, we really want to split open this coconut so we can drink the juice inside of it. I see. I see. Hey. Hajime, let me borrow that replica sword of yours. All right. Then... Buki, if it's not too much trouble, could you please rotate the, country, the coconut so it's facing up? Buki looks down at the coconut. What's looks that? back up at Pe Pekko. How, though? Yes! <laughs> Which side is up? You're totally into this, aren't you, Pekko? Hey, hey! If you split it open like that, the juice won't just spill out a splatter all over us. <laughs> oh. Fresh coconut lotion. Wouldn't it be better if I took take off my clothes first? Oh. I would not make such a mistake. All you need to do is be ready to catch what's going to fall. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. I could just I might just fall in love with those quiet words of yours. No problem! Here I come. Ready, set. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've done it. It fell right in my hand. More to the right. The hand hey. you receive change with. Oh, but it it'd be the other hand if you're holding a purse. Let's go. Level of adjustment is not a problem. Yeah. Oh, those are Japanese yeah, coconuts. <laughs> Once again, I have I... cut a worthless object. <laughs> is that how you feel when you cut down the Mahiro? So how is it? Is the coconut taste you've been longing for? It's so yummy! Yay! <laughs> the smell is to die for. And it's perfectly ripe. It tastes like the Kalakaua Road at night. Um. Does that mean it's tasty? Yeah, it's so good. It makes all the jo coconut juice I've drank to up till now seem like a total sham. <laughs> then Buki's gonna have some too. You too, Peko Peko. No. Ah, no, I. Please drink some. We wouldn't have been able to enjoy such a tasty, tasty juice if it weren't for you. That's right. I finally got to taste this tropical island sensation. So, 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 so wait, if people are saying that, you know, that there, there's a split between uh, Fuihiko Buki and Pekko as a sister model versus as a lover, does that mean him and Ibuki are just fighting? Over what? Over Pekko. No, because Ibuki does that with all the girls. She doesn't really seem committed to one or the other. Mm. It's like that girl thing, like, like, oh, we're such girl friends, and you just play with each other's hair and see each other while we're naked. Just like, we're not lesbian, but we act like it because we're comfortable with ourselves because we're girls, that sort of thing. But Ibuki seems a little more into it, if you know what I mean. Well, mm -hmm. guess that's I'm about it. I'm even starting to come up with a new coconut recipe in my mind. When it's finished, it'd be nice if Miss Pecco could sample my dishes. Honestly. I was just exaggerating. I only did what I can. Not bad. But if you're enjoying yourselves because of that, then I'm truly glad. After having ourselves a good time, all thanks to Pecco, we went back to our cottages. I already skipped the fucking... I don't know. The Mahiro one? Yeah. I don't know when I'm supposed to fucking find it, because she starts off in the... restaurant. 
Free time event, I actually do want to talk to Nagato because otherwise I'll be locked out again. But other than that, where the fuck are you? I went around, I went in a big circle for no reason. Just gonna be right outside the ranch. No? Oh my god. Wait! Ah! Oh! Ah, oh, this is where I started. This is where she was. Oh my god. Jeez. Now oh, let's talk about countdowns, enormous organizations, and conspiracy theories. It's really worrying. I'm like, I'm not like Fiakia or Fuyihiko. I'm just a regular person. Nope. Okay. Where's Nagato then? He's on the beach. That's right. He's always on the beach. Yeah, I don't know how I fucking skipped my first. I'll just oh, well. have to do it again. Yeah, oh well. Hey Nagato, you wanna bang? I mean, uh, hang? Hey. My bad. Slip of the... Slip of the tongue. Although, don't you wanna rub <laughs> it into Nagato's face that you are the talent of talents? Since he was I do kind of want to. I do kind of want to rub it in his face. If you're, if I'm being honest. Spent time with Nagato today, looking around for clues. Nagato and I grew a little closer today. Would I like to? Not really, but okay, I will. What do you want, Nagato? Outside of island mode, Nakito's first free time event must happen during the first two free time periods in Chapter 1. After his first free time event, Hajime can no longer talk to him during free time in Chapter 1. Nakito can talk to be, to be, be talked to again during free time in Chapters 3 and 4. If Hajime has not experienced his first time free, the first free time event, he can still talk to Nagato and give him presents, but cannot initiate a free time event. Okay. So you like the Hope's Peak ring? School ring emblazoned with Hope's Peak Academy school crest. It stands as proof of friendship between those who spent their youth together. You also love the memory notebook. A ragged notebook. The cover says Ki Ko Oto's memory notebook. Writings inside are too worn out to be read. You also love. Mukuro's knife! A knife with Hope's Peak Academy crest on it. The blade is too rusted to use. Alright, let's see what he loves then. He loves Blue Ram! That's right. Blue Ram, Ram clips, is... clips your wings. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. What? Hajime, are you feeling sick? Why? That I'm, be <laughs> that I'm being nice to you? Nope. I see. It's okay. I thought you looked pale or something. That something was worrying you. Ah, uh, but it'd be weird if, if you weren't worrying in a situation like this. Nagato is laughing in a carefree way, but seeing him laugh like that was enough to distract me from my worries. Huh? What? Is something wrong? Uh, no, how should I put it? I've just, just been thinking about all the ways you've been helping me so far. You're such a good friend. Thanks. Wow. No, I haven't done anything to receive your thanks. But for someone like me to be useful to you, and to even receive your words of gratitude, it makes me happy. You're being too hard on yourself. <laughs> I mean, my talent is just having good luck. It's not like it comes from hard work, and it's not like I can use it to do anything amazing. Regardless of how lucky I am, or that luck even exists, I'm just too unimpressive to truly matter. Haha. <laughs> Unlike you guys. Why do you sound so happy about that? It's possible that my talent might be more meaningless than yours, uh, you know? I mean, I can't even remember what it is. 
There's no mistake. That's not true. I'm sure you have an amazing talent. I mean, if you didn't, you wouldn't have been accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. Unless you were in, like, the reserve department or something. <laughs> but that would mean you're a bitch. <laughs> but anyway, somehow when I see the way Nagato... There you are, you little bitch. <laughs> somehow when I see the way that Nagato doesn't doubt me at all, I start to believe he's right. He really does help me in so many ways. Hey. I know, if you'd like, let me help you remember. Let's see, a talent suits Hajime. I see! What about the ultimate serenity? Pardon me, what did you look at to come up with, up with a title like that? Is that even a useful ability? Hmm. Mm, I'm pretty sure the ability to bring serenity to others just by being there is pretty amazing. Let's see... <laughs> what about the ultimate clumsy student? Well, considering that I suddenly forgot what my talent was, that, it, that might be fairly accurate. Hmm. What about the uh, ultimate scatterbrain? Don't go that far. I don't want to alter a talent like that. Wow. Hey, don't take it seriously. It was just a little joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about the ultimate spiky hair? It's not an ability at all. All right. <laughs> right? But it's going to be fine. I'm positive you have a talent that's brimming with hope. Jeez, he's totally messing with me. But thanks to him, my feelings are lighter than they ever were. Could it be? Was this his goal all along? Am I falling for you, Nagato? Maybe he's a good person after all. He was not. Well, I guess it's too early to say. I need to get to know him better from now on. I hope we get to understand each other better, even if it's just a little bit at a time. Yay! I was completely exhausted from hanging out with Nagato all day, so I returned to my room. Alright, as much as I, I would fucking loathe hanging out with Nagato, uh, I'm gonna do it again. No, I'm not gonna do it again. I'm gonna focus on one person and finish their free times event so we can get all the. So, what are you can. gonna focus on? So, uh, there are three more events. I guess we can do Byakia, fake Byakia. Or, or we can do Ibuki. I would say do Byakia because you got other times Ibuki because he yeah, dies. Yeah, Byakia dies. The problem is going to be Fuihiko, so we're probably going to need to wait till we do School Life for that one. We're only going to be doing the first three chapters, and Fuihiko's not available during any of them. Um, yeah, I'll work on him during School Life when we do it. Yeah. Nagato is also somebody that presents an issue, but at least we got the first free time event, so it doesn't really matter. Um... Yeah, let's go talk to Byakuya. And I mean, if you don't want to continue talking to Nagato, I can continue. I can just do that in school life. And the, th the thing is, is I'm gonna, probably going to need to redo Chapter 1 because I've already fucking failed at, at getting Mahiro's thing, so I might have to just redo it anyway. Alright, let's go talk to Byakuya. Get his totally useless ability at this point in the game, because this game, unlike the first one, just throws Mono Coins at you. Very strange. Why did the organization behind this in the end? Should I invite him to hang out? <laughs> no. He's so fucking fat. I was starting to get hungry from overthinking. This is your leader's order. Let's eat something light. I spent time with Byaki today watching him eat an obscene amount of food. Looks like Byaki let me get a little closer to him. Would you like to give him a present? Alright, he loves chocolate chip jerky. How the fuck? Dried beef sprinkled with chocolate chips. That sounds awful. A preserved meat product invented by a, an experimental cook. There's no guarantee this will actually taste good. <laughs> I was just thinking I wanted this. Are you stalking me or something? I guess I'll say thank you, but stalking is never acceptable behavior. What do you want? What did you want to talk to me about? Hmm? I didn't say anything. I just gave you some jerky. I can tell just by looking at your face. You need my power, right? As a member of the Chikami family, I'm in a position to guide weaklings. <laughs> no need to hold back. Come, try me. If you insist, well... <laughs> hold it. There's no need to say it since I already know. I share your... Your dissatisfaction. No, I wasn't really trying to talk about my dissatisfaction. Listen. If I lived like a beast, I would not be dissatisfied living on this island. However, I am a creature of intellect. I'm a modern person who lives in a new era. <laughs> There's something important missing from this island. You also know what that is, right? So I'm 
something important. Wait, why am I being quizzed all of a sudden? Of course, there are many things it could be. But I'm pretty sure he's talking about fast. Yeah, I guess I will. It is in fact fast food. Which is funny because you get that on the second island. <laughs> That's right. Don't you think it's strange too? Despite all these facilities, why don't they didn't they bother to even build one fast food location? That's true, but I'm surprised. I never figured you were the type to eat junk food. Uh, Hajime! Are you sure about this? I I just want you to take a, a quick look at Biakia. But that could and be fine meals <laughs> with a bunch of them. I just need to ask, uh, Hajime, are you sure about this? Such ignorance. Your shallow beliefs are typical of an ignorant commoner. You don't have to go that far. Listen. Do you know how much body fat percentage of the upper class increases every year due to fast food? From Hollywood celebrities to presidents of the industry, <laughs> even Bill Gates is fascinated by that clown with an afro. Also, it is common knowledge that many professional athletes eat an unbalanced diet. <laughs> Damn, if only this island had some means of communication. I would have various va fast food companies establish franchises here, including the Afro Clown, the, the bespectacled Kentucky Colonel, and the red-haired girl with pigtails. Not gonna mention any of those by name, of course, but... Yeah, because... I don't really understand, what he, but he's really passionate about this. What's making him so driven? <laughs> you will probably never understand. Huh? You always find the same things waiting for you when, wherever you go. You'll never know what a relief that truly is. For someone like you who has lived a fortunate life, you'll never understand. Fortunate? That sounds like I'm better off compared to Biakia. <laughs> oh well. If there's anything worrying you, just let me know any time. No need to hold Goodbye. back. Goodbye. Good day. But he totally didn't listen to what I talked about to him about. More importantly, what do you mean I'm, not, I'm more fortunate than he is? I thought about what Biakia had I said. I just found your nightmare. There's a bunch of crows. Ah, okay. God, there's so fucking many of them. Too, huh? <sighs> I have no choice. After all, the he, he handbook clearly states that defying Monokuma is not permitted. However, it'd be foolish to resist if it's just going to make things worse. I hope everyone else feels the same way. That worries me a little. Anyway, anyway, we, we must go to the park. I guess I have no choice, huh? Big stretch. Big stretch. What's up? He's gonna talk a big game, but ain't nothing What's gonna... going on?
bam. Talk to my hero. It's time to sleep. Time to sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. Sleep, 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 Hero, where you at? Fuck off. <sighs> Not everyone's strong as Bianca. I never thought about having to overcome anything before. It's not like I just run away from my problems, but more like I was just living my life without even thinking about them at all. Even so, I'm still able to live. But this is different. Sorry. I'm sorry, I was just being too negative. Wait, what do you say? He's uh, being negative. No, I understand. I'm the same way, the same as well. But now that we talked, I feel assured once again. Being loners won't get us anywhere. That's why I think we should all help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. A deal like this will, is what will make us cling to hope. Yeah, you probably. Bye now. Those. I'll be heading to the restaurant now. My hero, I see you. Hey. Good, good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Aww. Jeez, what's the with the jeez? What's the with the sullen face? Mm. Uh, I guess I'm not one to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. A lot of my mind. I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. Man, just for kicks, I should prepare some yummy desserts and tea and invite some people to come chat with me. Got it. Ah, just so you know, it's only gonna, gonna be a girls only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. What, what, what do girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. Hmm. Uh, but I don't know how to make desserts. Is there like a recipe book around here? Recipe? Huh? That reminds me, I have this magazine with me that has an article in, in it about beginner dessert recipes. Huh? Yeah, really? Hey, hey! Can you show it to me? I'll invite you if you do. What should I do? Should I show it to her? Yes. Thank you. Awesome, I'm saved. Hmm. Guess I should change my evaluation of you a little. From unreliable Hajime to sometimes helpful Hajime. Yes! We we graduated! I'm not really thr thrilled, about, thrilled about that. Hey! Then come to the restaurant after breakfast, okay? She sure, sure likes to boss guys around. What about you fuckers? Jeez! Jeez, I'm still so sleepy. Mr. Ham Hands is so selfish. He's totally fine to spend the morning sleeping in. Well, you also need to eat breakfast anyway. What's wrong with eating it together? Aww. Well, I like to spend my breakfast eating sweets in my room. That's already fine. Um. Eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming too many sugars and fats. Hey! Who made you my doctor? Don't speak to me without my permission. I'm sorry! I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez, listen to this ugly bitch is crying in the morning. Makes me so sick. Yoko, you definitely have the, the ultimate bad attitude. I have a question now, because we've learned that all of us here are part of the remnants of despair. Is Mikan's true love Junko? Maybe. Like, she talked about how they're dead, and the only person that we can really think of that is dead that is also, you know, on the side of ultimate despair is Junko, so I don't know. Uh, hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> what is it? I just said good morning. Shut the fuck up, bitch. 
First time greeting someone, I was actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Could you do- Oh, we already got this, dude. Mm -hmm. Alright, anyway. I'm sorry, Chihiro, I haven't talked to you at all yet, but I'm just like, I just want to get through this, and we've probably already talked to you during these scenes anyway, so it's no big deal. Several people were already at the restaurant. No. No. Get a newspaper. No. Okay, nobody's talking. Not a single word. Not, not a single word, Nekumaru. Dead bodies already? A party! Hey, what's up? did tell me to go to the restaurant. If I show up late, I'm pretty sure she'll just yell at me, so I better get there soon. What's up? Looks like nobody's here yet. Am I too early? Get out of here! Oh, it's just you, Monami. Why'd you shout like that? Why is Hajime here? I won't let you! That's a big no-no. This is a girl's only gathering. No boys allowed. Well, you're not a girl either. Get the fuck out of here. I know, but Mahiro asked me to come. What happened? Huh? Why is Hajime here? Um... I heard this was for girls only. Mahiro asked me to bring the, her the dessert recipe. Hmm. Oh, that's fine. So you're for just a special participant. Like... Um, why is Monami here too? Um... Uh, Chiaki invited me. Yep. Yep, that's right, I invited her. Aww. Hey, wait a second. That seems suspicious. Chiaki, you're not gonna be the traitor, are you? Why? This knuckles old face gross if that thing hanged around. What? Just for me being here. Huh? But all the girls are making desserts, right? That's right. Wanna be a sort of a girl too. Um you know it's a stuffed animal. Aw. Oh well. At this point, it'd be mean to kick her out. Plus, I've already made an exception for Hajime to be here anyway. She's putting Monami and me on the same level. All right. Let's start. Yahoo! I'm gonna kick it into overdrive. No. I don't believe you need to be so energetic when it comes to cooking. Yay! Aww. Look at Chiaki and Monami in the background. This is cute. Yay! Too bad, like, and then she, uh... It's too bad, like, all but one of you end up dead. All but two of you. <laughs> That's cute. And then Pecco. Pecco is the such a mom friend. Fucking Kyoko is just a gremlin child. <laughs> also, how the fuck is Ibuki so good at sculpting treats? Look at that shit. She made uh her own fucking body. I think it's just her head. I mean, it like looks like a torso at the very least. Yeah, it's like... Right, like, 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 uh... Like a bust. Tit, tit up? Yeah, like a bust. <laughs> tit up. I'm a fucking moron. Fucking Sonia looks like Cinderella. Like, what is, what is this? It's amazing. And Akane's got, like, shit on her face, so, of course. Uh, everybody's just cute. Except for Mikan. Mikan can eat ass. Who? <laughs> Mikan can eat uh, eat my entire ass. <laughs> be sure to watch your fingers. You can be clumsy sometimes. I'll, I'll do my, my best. best. I'll try to live up to your expectations so you don't hate me. I can't understand why Hyoko was so mean to you all the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I mean, I'm just gonna I'm just saying lighten up a bit. My femininity is hella boss. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> the fuck? This sort of activity, it's not so bad once in a while. It, oh, that that line didn't get voice acted, I guess. It's not bad, but ideally be more bowl-shaped. Ibuki, are you saying your face should be more bowl-shaped? 
What is that? What are you making? For many years now, Ibuki has always dreamed of making a cookie statue of her boobs. Oof. What about dream away? Right now, I don't even want to look at it. Um, Akane is just mindlessly eating all the desserts being made. It's, it's better if I just keep my mouth shut. Yeah, I'm Akane in this situation. I don't care if it looks pretty. I'm just gonna fucking eat it. I want to try eating it! Eating e what? Everything? Abuki's boobs. Oh. That, you mean the one on this page? Yeah. Damn right, I mean Abuki's boobs. Hey, hey! Looks like a simple recipe, so we should all try to make that one too. At this rate, won't it take all day just for the prep work? Have to take part in this mysterious female ritual. Hajime, you fucking cuck. Uh, I went back to this like, my cottage for the time being, mostly because after I helped out with the prep work, they kicked me out. I know it was girls only, but to think that they even let Mona me stay, it makes me want to cry. What do girls do when they're alone? They just like get naked and rub pastries on each other? Why can't I be invited to that? There's still some time before the party. There's no way I can spend it staring into space in my room. Well, since I have some free time, it'd be better if I went and talked to everyone. And by everyone, I mean Byakia. I mean, look at this shit. Look at how close we are. With Ibuki. But anyway. I got them. Where you at? Everybody's in their fucking room! Let's go bother these animals. <laughs> bother these animals. No, we're already done with Gundam. Ding dong! Who is it? Get the fuck inside. Before I sh I change my mind. Yeah, nice little place you got here. Uh, I, I think we already saw it. Yeah, because he, he has a thing mm -hmm. in his room. Listen. What's the point of searching for what this means? We should be searching for a way to safely escape this place, Pepperon. Can I invite Valkyrie to hang out? I mean, I guess. <laughs> what do you want? You want, like, a sweet bun bag or something? Sweet little, little bun, bun bag? Or, uh, maybe Coco, Coco Shimi? What the fuck? Oh yeah, the pulpy white insides of a coconut. If you eat it with soy sauce and wasabi, it tastes like sh sashimi. <laughs> you really think I would be happy with something like this? Listen. Correct. Good work, Hajime. Listen. Listen well. There are three types of affluent progenies in the world. Despite their intellect, there are useless, useless progenies who only have their smarts. Despite their good looks, there are useless progenies who only have their looks. <laughs> the one who is superior in both aspects is the most powerful affluent progeny of all. Byakuya Togami. I see. Why are you referring to yourself in the third person here? I thought he was making a grand introduction, but no, he's just boasting. Rejoice. Hajime, I will tell you and only you the secret of how the Togami family has prospered. How they prospered? <laughs> it's based on a special hereditary system. The head of the Togami family doesn't have a wife. Instead, he has countless children with excellent women throughout the world. The children are forced to compete with one another, and, who, and who remains standing as the winner <laughs> will become the next head of the Togami family. You mean all the kids have to fight each other? That's right. During my time, 108 of us, boys and girls, fought to be- Oh, 108 of you! That's... That's... Uh, Byaki told us about that in the last game. He didn't tell us how many people he had to fight. Or maybe he did. I just... I don't know. I don't think he's Were they all your siblings? Hmm. Half siblings, of course. We are ranked based on our strength. The most powerful affluent progeny is gold. The one below that is silver. I was ranked the weakest of all. Bronze. Listen. But the end it. But the end the end. I defended defeated every last one of them. I even defeated the affluent progeny of darkness. Listen. And from there I finally reached the top. <laughs> it was the first time in the history of the Tsugami family that bronze won their way to the top. That's amazing. Well it's not like I I know if it's true, but if it really is true, I definitely would have run away at some point during the middle. Hmm. It's the it's the history of a battle that will continue for many ages. Isn't it horrifying? And now Byakuya Togami is standing atop that history. <laughs> How about it? Isn't it amazing? As expected of the Togami line, right? As expected of Byakuya Togami, you mean? <laughs> Wait, why did he just say that to himself? Compared to any other person, his was the most absolute existence I'd ever seen. 
Huh? There's something strange about what he said just now. <laughs> Hajime, if... If by any chance, <laughs> you could become anyone other than yourself, who would you want to be? Anyone other than myself? Hmm. You know, I'd also, I, I've always wanted to be the ultimate hope, the uh, founder of Hope Speak Academy. Uh, Iziru Bukaraba, or Buku, Bukara, whatever his fucking name is. I've never thought of it before, but that guy sounds cool. I'm definitely fine with who I am. Right now, I'm more focused on who I'm supposed to be, <laughs> what I'm supposed to do. I see, that's perfectly fine, especially if that's the real you. Goodbye. That was kind of a nice way to kill time. Alright, I'm leaving. Isn't this your cottage? He turned and walked away. I was struck by how lonely he looked with his back to me. What do you mean by what he just said just now? I feel like I'm starting to get to know Byaku better, but I feel like something's missing. Even if it's possible right now, there might be a day when Byaku is able to tell me. With his own words! Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we had spent time with Byaku, we would have noticed that right away. Well, he also, during that speech, referred to Byakia at, in the first person a couple mm -hmm. times, because... Yeah, um, we would have figured out that it's not Byakia. We, we right might there. have, because, but he's also, he also says stuff that Byakia did as if he did them. Mm -hmm. So that would lead us down the wrong path. Like, there's, it's impossible to tell one way or another, based on the free time events so far. And you only get four, so if we had spent... Who did we spend our very first free time of that? Because I know we did... No, we did two with Byaki. So there were two. I think we did Chiaki? Let me look at the list. I think it was Ibuki. I think we started with Chiaki, went to Byaki, and then did Ibuki. That's... We thought, like, you're gonna die. You're gonna die soon, Yeah, because we, we were talking about, I mean, if you look at this, uh, maybe it was John Bone. I remember it was me, Mika and I was the one I wanted to talk to because I was like, you're gonna die first, but we weren't able to do that until chapter three, which is funny. Um, all right, talk to Byaku one last time and get his fucking boxer. How you doing? Oh, hey, look at that. You shit all over the floor. You don't need to clean it up. I don't need to, but why not? Not like he'll die. Yaki is in the market for a new boyfriend. Ha ha! Here I go. What's up? Forced to listen to Byakia speak at length about the various dishes he's eaten. All right. Um, oh, we can give him a black rabbit picture book. So here's something I found out um, because I looked through the trivia on the presents page. This is apparently uh, supposed to belong to uh, Celeste in the first game. Uh, an introductory book for pulling various cons. The cover has a black rabbit on it to avoid attention. Apparently there's a white rabbit and a red rabbit version of this book as well. Which, uh... I didn't... I didn't, I didn't realize. Do you give that book to anyone? I mean, Byaki would love it, but I only have the one, so I'm not going to do it, though. 
Instead, I'm gonna give them the cod roe baguette. This seems like fucking gross to me. It's it's bread stuffed with butter and cod. That's fine. I don't know. I don't. I guess I don't really like fish sandwiches as a as a as a concept. I don't really like bread and fish together. It just seems weird to me. Maybe it's because I grew up with the idea that tuna fish is the grossest kind of sandwich. I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't look that appealing, but I guess I'll accept it from you. I'll be counting on it next time as well. Hey Byakia, I've been wondering about this for a while now. What you said earlier, what did that mean? The whole bit about the real you. Hajime, what do you think of me? Huh? So in other words. Do you like me? Woo woo? Whoa, what are you talking about? What? I'm just asking if you like me or hate me. It's a simple yes or no question. But I don't know how to answer that when you spring it on me so suddenly. Biaki looks serious. It's as if he's being backed into, into a corner. It almost feels like he won't forgive me unless I say something. But that doesn't mean I shouldn't just tell him the truth. What do I, what do I need to say to make Biaki understand? I like you. I can't say. Is what I'm gonna guess is... Is what he wants you to tell him. He does, he does want you to say he likes him. If I have to choose between liking you and hating you, well then, I don't hate you. I definitely consider you a friend. There's no way I can ever imitate your leadership. The truth is, I think you're amazing as I stroke his fucking third chin. Mmm, daddy. <laughs> I see. Byakuya seems a little relieved, but what's with him? I feel like he's not his usual self. Such a hesitant, no, kind answer, as expected of you. <laughs> but if that's how, that's how you feel about Byakuya Togami, right? What if I wasn't a Togami? What if I never had my birthright, my name, or my ability? What if I was more handsome and more disagreeable? What? Hmm. Would you still feel the same way that you do right now? I don't know about that, but... I feel like Byakuya is speaking differently than usual. What does this mean? In other words... The exterior is very important. From a person's name and appearance, an impression is already being formed. Let me tell you an interesting story about a certain man. Listen. This man was born with nothing. No name, no birth certificate, no family. He had nothing. He was nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing at all. Do you understand? His existence was completely invisible. He was a person whose life had, had no meaning whatsoever. <laughs> the only thing he had was... A desire to live a normal life. So what did he have to do in order to live? What did he have to do to have his existence acknowledged, to receive that affirmation? Hmm. There was only one way. His only option was to become someone else. He had to lie to everyone. He had to lie to the entire world. Is he talking about himself? I mean, if he is. Then the person in front of me isn't the real Byakuya Togami. Hmm. You cannot get this scene in Chapter 1. You don't have enough fucking free time events to get it. No, even if he's telling the truth, it's not like I know the real Byakuya Togami. Mm. All I know is, Byakuya, I don't know how you're gonna take this, but fuck you. The only Byakuya Togami I know is the person standing right in front of me. What, what did you say? You. you. Thank you. I've, I've, always, always... I've always wanted someone to say that to me. Oh. I see. So I'm really here. I'm really here. Listen. If, if by chance everything that's happening here is resolved safely, there's something I would like to tell you. I no longer want to lie anymore. Not to anyone. Not to anything. Not even to myself. <laughs> I want to live as myself, the person standing before you right now. I never told anyone this before, but I want you to hear what I need to say. Yeah, of course saying you like that. It's kind of weird. Byakuya, I always... I, I know, always says you in a condescending way, right? What? Huh? <laughs> You're right. You're absolutely right. I see. The Byakuya you know, huh? For some reason, the expression on Byakuya's face at that moment was different than any I'd seen before. I can finally feel a strong bond between Byakuya and me. All I can do now is wait until Byakuya is ready to tell me everything. And in order for that to happen, we need to get off this island soon. I completely lost track of time as I discussed our future course of action with Byakuya. Strangely enough, we were making jokes with each other, too. Yay! 
You just unlocked the, the skill Sting. And wow, those are tight. After I parted ways with Byakuya, I decided that it was a good time to jack off. We all thought Teratera was the biggest pervert, but no, it was how you made the entire dawn all along. <sighs> the game wants me to go to the, the old building, but I feel like that's just gonna be a bad time, so instead, I'm gonna fucking time travel. I mean, there's nothing more in Chapter 1 that we need to do, right? I think you wanna retry doing the... Uh, no, wait, no, you got it. Yeah, I got a little scene in Chapter 1, so... Done and done. Alright. Select chapter. Which is good because in the in the base playthrough we got all the trophies related to the class trial, so I don't have to do any of them over again. Mm -hmm. Alright. So for this cat chapter, we have to talk to Mahiro again before exploring the second island, which should be just right away. For even if we weren't told this directly, you'd know it. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Yeah, so the only thing we have to do is talk to my hero. Um... Cute. Alright. So, there are five free time events oh. in Chapter 2. Um, so honestly, we could just do one person, just devote ourselves to them, and just be done with it. Or we can finish up everybody who started it. Yeah, fuck it, let's, uh, I don't know. Well, the only people we can talk to that we've already started are Peck, are Chiaki, and Ibuki. So maybe. And then Mihan. Oh, yeah. And Mihan. Let's just finish off Mihan. No. <laughs> I want to do a Buki at the very least. Like, we can either do any of these other characters we haven't talked to a single time, or we can, uh... Finish those guys up. We can finish one of these three and just start on the next one. I don't know. Okay, let's do a Buki. Yeah, let's do a Buki for sure, then. So your biggest sign is just to get the special thing, right? Hmm? Your big is to get the special thing. Well... I guess for, if someone was using this as like a tertiary playthrough, like if they don't want to play the game as watching us do it, the way I would want that to be arranged is us getting all of the like, scenes with a specific person at the same time. So, even though we didn't do that in the, in the base playthrough because of how it's set up, um... I mean, again, we can do that. Yeah, I, I know, I know. But I feel like since I'm going through the, the, chapter, the first three chapters again anyway, I might as well get a couple of these scenes out of the way. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so, definitely. So yeah, I mean, chapter three also has five free time events, so maybe we'll just do, we'll do Ibuki's first two, then we'll do Chiaki's uh, next three. And, oh sorry, chapter three has four free time events. So in chapter three we can finish Chiaki's and then, fuck, we, we, won't, we won't even, what? You made a movie? No, in chapter three, we'll finish Tiaki. Oh. And we won't even have enough time, uh, free time events to finish off Mikon, but whatever. Okay. It'd be nice if we could hang out with Fuhiko, but... He's a little grim one child who doesn't want to spend time with us. Oh yeah, I always forget that she died. In a party. Hmm. New Island? I should go si find some clues, too. Aww. You can't. You promised you'd tie my kimono with the ash. Hey. Shut the fuck up, you little gremlin child. We can do that after we finish the explore the New Island. 
I don't hurry up and go take a van. They're gonna call me Mel again. They're they're gonna bully me again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's take a light shower first. Yay! Yay, we're gonna wash each other. Huh? Hey. The scene. <laughs> now, now, we're both girls. There's no need but... to be shy. Ooh, ooh. Let's go! Wash each other. I see. Washing each other, huh? Watching each other? No, I shouldn't. What am I thinking? If I get caught, I'll never hear the end of it. Oh my god! Hajime! Even if I have men's urges swirling within me. Huh? That's right. I do have it. A huge man's nut like this! Hajime! What? What is it? Is it just blank? Urges. 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 Nut. Urges. Nut. Nut urges. Urging nuts. Oh my god. Nuts and urges growing within me. Me to nut! Foo foo foo, that's right, I have this with me. Alright, I will obtain the nut. An urge that will exceed this nut! What the hell is wrong? I just. I, how? Because we're sneaking into a, another girl's cottage. Okay, so the thing that he. He has, I believe it's like near the bottom. Uh, where the fuck is it? It's this thing. A huge nut that can't be found in nature. It's said to exist within within a man's heart. It's said that consuming this will increase your power or to pursue romance. Interesting. This is the thing that we did in the last scene. This is the thing that we did for the coconut. And then there was there was a, a a scene that we did get in the base game, um, but it's where the fuck is it? It's a toy camera. We got just like the music concert event thing. That was the only bonus scene we got. I and then I beyond the steam, I saw the nut. No, the urge that was resting on this island. <gasps> Whoa! That's. WAY MORE INTENSE Yay! THAN THE SCENE IN THE Yay! FIRST GAME! OH Wait. MY! Hey... Where do you want me to wash you, Mahiro? From where to where do you want me to wash you? Jeez! Uh, oh! Just like chestnuts roasting on an open fire, my urges are boiling, churning and unloading inside my heart. I'm so glad you're a pervert, Hajime. Thank God. Wait, huh? Was my characterization always this way? No, it wasn't! It feels like I lost sight of myself, but it's not like I can erase what I've already seen. I'll just leave it be. That was weird. Hey, Terra Terra, you want this nut? He's dead. I just need to take a moment. I got some extra play, uh, Mona coins. Mm. Mm. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Washing each other! Yay! Yay! Yay. Ah, damn, Steam. Why couldn't they have taken a cold shower? <laughs> eh, fuck it. For many years now, Ibuki has always dreamed of making a cookie statue of her boobs. <laughs> I love how that's the line that they use. Alright, anyway, back to it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, I gotta explore Second Island real quick. It's fine. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. 
man's nuts will explode. You got pieces of chair all over your butt again. This is the new island. No. There's only... There's there's actually three scenes in Chapter 3, but we got the first one, which is weird. So there's two in Chapter 1, one in Chapter 2, and three in Chapter 3. Alright. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Berg. Gonna get us some Berg. Knock knock. That looks like Fuyihiko. I better talk to him and bother him in order for him to be our best friend later. I hope Heko dies. Wink wink. Oh, are we this? Yeah, this is in the base game. Yeah, this is just the part of the game where they want you to explore the second island so you're familiar with everything before the trial starts, before the dead body appears. Alright. Thank you pressing circle by mistake. They gotta tell you like, hey! Ibuki! Why are you screaming? Dad! Look at that! Look! They're fighting! They're gonna kill each other! How do they stop them? Oops. Oh! Well, I guess Akane's never having children. Like, fucking look at the fucking force back on her stomach. Like, you can feel, the, you can see the impact ripples. <laughs> like, jeez, Nekomar, you didn't need to go that hard. She's alive. <laughs> Akane just mutters under her breath. Man, Nekomaru makes my womb sore. Like what? Oh. What? <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna do the talk to Kazumichi, who's curving out, I think. I don't know, he's always one or the other. He's either scared or curving. Oh! Wait, 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 wait! I remember this! I don't either! Because he was like, Rope breakers? Rope breakers? <laughs> what are you holding? <gasps> Machine gun, obviously! Rope breakers was shot to death! That's just common sense! He's like, trigger happy. Hey, hey, hey! It's common sense where? It's not like we're under military mission! <laughs> shoot something! I know I'm not allowed to! But I want to shoot something right now! Ah! Do it, Hold it, Hold it in! Hold it in! I'll endure it no matter the cost until some day, some one day it breaks through. So that's where that no. Monokuma came from. No, no, no. There was a different one with him, like, full of dynamite and he had a match. <sighs> I remember that one. <laughs> On the fucking second chapter, Monokuma's like, I need you guys to kill him. Kill each other. I'm so waiting. I'm out of here. Bye. <sighs> now to go to the pharmacy that never comes up in any of the trials ever. I 
I do kind of like I, I I say that, but I I'm okay with that because like some places are are like red herrings. Like this this place seems like it be mm -hmm. the cause of someone's death, and you never know. Maybe this this like wasn't Ibuki like drugged it before she died. Maybe Mikan got something from here. So. Well, she was. Uh... Yeah, I know. All right, fuck it. Yeah, because there's uh, some places that, like, just exist to just be there to fill out space. This one's gonna be one where we turn, learn about the girl. Serial killers, Genocide Jack, Sparkling Justice, that's the name. Shut up, Paco! Get to your free time eventually. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> Ta-da! I'm me! Okay, bye. Look at this shit. You can read it, Sonya? That's strange. Cultural differences, like how Americans are super offended by the word cunt, but here in Australia we're super offended by school children being slaughtered with automatic weapons. Oops. Hey everybody. <laughs> hey, now that I mentioned it, I I, I, I traveled forward in time. Has anyone seen Biakia and Tarotaro? I feel like they're missing. <laughs> anybody want to tell me what happened? Where would they go? They're hiding. They're obviously hiding. Hide and go seek. What the fuck? Jackie, do you have any idea what we're supposed to do? Imagine you knew a dude, and you were pretty chill with him. Maybe you were friends, but you're like, not really sure. But one day he just starts attacking you and gets taken away by the cops and you never see him again. A few months later, you go to play with your new group of friends, and you find out via the play, he died. That's how Zuko felt watching Jet die in the Ember Islands player episode. J Zuko watching j st stage Jet play. Uh, around in some trees with the original trio. Oh, cool, I didn't know you guys knew Jet. I met him once on a trip to Ba Sing Se. We stole some food, got into a city, had a fight, and he was hauled away by the Dai Li, and I haven't seen him since, the whole Zuko watching stage Jet get brainwashed and die. What the fuck?! <laughs> and then it's a picture of the, <laughs> the, the scene where Sokka's like, you know, it was really unclear. Zuko's having a minor crisis here, and Sokka just thinks he's referring to a play. <laughs> Are we in free time yet? That's amazing. I never thought about that. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta go talk to <gasps> Gundam! Hi Gundam. 
Stay back. Okay. You already gave me your underwear. <laughs> you don't have any. He doesn't have any underwear on. <laughs> We're just gonna roll up and in at the end of chapter three and we'll be like, hey, everyone's missing their underwear, guys. Where'd they go? Bottom of my feet are so gross. Mm -hmm. Hajime! <laughs> Hajime, did you sneak in a Pika on me and uh, Hyoko in the shower? What? what? No! I did no such thing. Uh. Where you can go, probably. really hard to tell. Alright. Hey, Buki. Suggest Nagato because we also started his, but whatever. We can go talk to we can go talk to to Nagato. Never really thought to do it, but I just wanna take a look at him. Be like, hey, what's up, dick? Hey guys, uh, time traveled forward in time. Where, where's Biaki and took and Terotero? And also, why is Nagato? Is Nagato tied up? I shouldn't go inside. Alright, now to find a bookie. There you are. Hey! There you are. Hang out with me. Hide my tear today is so not cool. My charm is my best feature, now it's gonna disappear. Of course I should. Hey! Hey! I think it looks the same as usual, right? <laughs> then I shall indoctrinate, indoctrinate you to the secrets of this hairstyle. I'm very curious about how her fucking hair works. For the sake of introduct, intra, indoctrination, I was forced to watch Ibuki style her hair. Yay. Hold on, I'm gonna find her. Free time of that. There we go. What do I want to give a bookie? Boop, 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 boop. I can give her the headphones. Headphones. American clackers? You already gave her the clackers. I did, but you're right. Desperation. I can, I can give her my desperation. I could give her a two-sided ukulele. Um, absolute tuning fork. Yeah! Hearts are connected as one. <laughs> I'm just thinking I wanted this right now. Poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke, poke. What should Hajime and I play today? Playing again? Seriously, what happened to training? I got it. I decided today we're gonna do a, a 1,000 practice head swings. Head swings? Isn't that just called head banging? Buki will start us off! So she said that, Buki starts swinging her head back and forth with amazing speed. Yahoo! <laughs> She's so fast her head is a blur. I can't believe her tiny neck can keep up with her. Yahoo! You do it too, Hajime! It's fun! Quar! I had no idea why I was doing this, but I decided not to think about it and just played along with Buki. My head is ringing. Da boom, na, da, mm, mm, dam, na, am, na. Just as I thought there was no meaning behind it, but I feel like a lot of stuff I've been stressing about, about mysteriously lifted off my shoulders. Oh my my! Hajime, you look pretty refreshed. 
feel like we were pre playing pretty well together just now. I see, I, mean, I Ibuki, see. Ibuki just realized it. When I'm with Hajime, Ibuki plays pretty really well. I just remember that Ibuki left her old band. Apparently she was a member of a girl band that was at the height of their popularity. Hey Ibuki, why did you leave your old band? Was it because you had creative differences with them? Aww. How should I put it? Creative differences? Personality differences? Well, it's not that big of a deal. That's the destiny of a band member, after hey, all. Hey, hey! Like I said earlier, what's, the mo what's most important is a sense of unity. Technique is something you gain by just by practice. But you won't know if the group really meshes well together until you try it once. And if it's no good, then that's something you can't really help. That's why Ibuki doesn't regret leaving the band. Aww. But being alone is a teensy bit lonely. I see. If I can fill that loneliness by doing stuff with her, even if it's just a little... Then I guess I don't mind playing along with her for a while. <laughs> then I shall keep playing with Hajime today. Why you? Let's continue our banging. Let's. T it's th this time it's for the championship. Whoever loses has to tongue kiss bone of me. Oh, gross. We're competing now. I ended up banging my head until I lost consciousness. It must have been a blessing in disguise that no one won or lost thanks to a double KO. <laughs> Amazing. I love Ibuki. Yeah, she's great. I like I love Hajime for just doing it. Yeah. Hajime really... I don't know, I, I could kind of give or take him during the main story, but during the free time events is really where he shines, because he, he like plays off of everybody really well. Ibuki hey, and I were both pretty tired, so I said goodbye to her and headed back to my room. Dizzy as fuck. Dizzy, yeah. Still bright out. Maybe we should go try try and go hang out with the Buki. In a room. Ooh. Damn it. Now I'm in a room. Where are you at? What the fuck? Why why are you at Jabberwock Park? Oh, there you are. I see you. <laughs> Hold still, I'm sorry, I <laughs> need to walk into the park real quick. And now I'm leaving. Aww. I'm getting sleepy from boredom. Crap! <laughs> that means my character's gonna overlap Chiaki's, isn't that bad? What should I do? Should I hang out with Ibuki? Yeah. This is going nowhere. Sure, I'm sleepy though. Do you think I'll wake up if I drink coffee? I spent some time today drinking coffee with Ibuki. That was probably a bad idea. Alright. So now I need to give her the lust. <laughs> Tetsugeka, Japanese sake that contains no alcohol. It will still get you drunk though. Awesome. <laughs> so we're gonna get her panties after getting her drunk. This seems like a bad idea. Giving you an amazing present like this when it's not Christmas or my birthday. I'm so happy. Thank you, mucho mucho. So what are we doing today? Before we get into that, do you remember anything, Hajime? Anything? Yes. You know, about your talent and stuff. Since you've been hanging out with the Buki for so long, you should have remembered something by now. Huh? Don't tell me all that stuff we did was just to help me remember. <laughs> wow, wrong! Buki just wanted to play with Hajime. <laughs> but Buki Miyota, the goddess of music, brought, thought you might remember something if I stimulated your senses. This is going nowhere. But I guess Hajime was too dull for it to work. Dull? Still, I never expected that Ibuki was actually thinking about me the whole time. I didn't even notice. I feel a little sh ashamed. Hey, hey! Well, it's fine as long as you don't worry about it. I mean, the Hajime I know is the same person you've been from the start. What do you mean? <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing, so I don't want you to make me say it, but it actually doesn't matter at all whether or not you remember, because Hajime is already standing right here. Aww! I'm gonna cry again when you die. <laughs> I just feel like you're someone who's willing to go far away to search for yourself. I see, I but see. Your true self doesn't actually exist anywhere. The person standing right now is who you are. The person who's changing every day, that's you. I believe finding yourself means accepting that you, you're someone who's constantly changing. Even when you're worrying about things, you're still you. <laughs> 
Just kidding. Ibuki was trying to say that things that she wouldn't normally say. Why you? After all, this is the very last event. Ibuki, thanks, I think. No problemo! There's no need to thank me. Here's my panties. Because Ibuki was able to remember something she hasn't felt for a long time after playing with Hajime. <laughs> the importance of giving your all and expressing yourself. You're always doing that. But to expand on that, the important part is to do it together with someone. Someday, I want to play music with someone who trusts me as much as I trust them. That's always been a Buki's dream. <laughs> I think believing that dreams come true as long as you believe is the first step towards fulfilling your dreams. That's a little complicated. It's easy peasy. All you gotta do is believe. So, no matter what happens from this point forward, never ever give up. It's a promise. Yeah. Ibuki said that with a seriousness that I've never seen her display to anyone else. It's kind of surprising that I'm actually learning from her, but... Her wo words got, took root inside my heart. I won't give up. I'll definitely leave this island. With everyone. <laughs> Hajime, you're making a very nice face. Now today's training is... Endurance practice. Huh? Today's practice is... Stealing a Kanai snack and kicking Nakamaro in the butt. <laughs> A.K.A. Picking a fierce fight with two raging demons. Are you seriously gonna do that? Of course! Yahoo! Let's get on with it! I frantically ran after Ibuki because I had no idea what she was going to do. But I no longer feel like she's dragging me around like she used to. I feel a strong bond between Ibuki and myself. Wham! Ibuki's report card. I got the shred guitar skill. Mm, nice, she has plaid. <gasps> she is lesbian! <laughs> oh my god. I somehow narrowly avoided death and made it back to my room. You know, I should spend some time with Chiaki now. Nope, that's, it's nighttime. We always get somebody's panties right before it's nighttime. Alright, we gotta, gotta, gotta get the motive. What's the next, uh, special? Special scene? Um, I don't remember if you were there for it, but there's two in chapter three. We, or in the, or there's three uh, in chapter three. Isn't there one, isn't the, the concert one of them? Yeah, the concert's one of the three. We already got that one. Becomes, yeah, we got, we got that one. Um, we need to, I can't remember what the first one is that we're gonna get today, um, but we need to talk, talk to Ibuki after exploring the third island. And the other one is, I know what it is, and I, I didn't get it my first time through, and I don't know why, but you're supposed to talk to Kazuichi in the hospital after we ta uh, we find Fuhiko there in the hospital bed, um, because he's obsessed with the it that Nekomaru and Akane are doing. He's like, oh, they're doing it? Hajime, we should we should figure out what that what it is or something. And I don't know. I, I I had the item on me in when we did chapter three the first time around, but yeah, no big deal. Welcome to curry. Eh? This feels weird, guys. I feel like we're missing a couple people. Yeah. I think it's weird, though, that Pekko goes out of her way to fucking finish the game first. I don't think she did. I think the Yuhiko did, and then he told Pekko. No, because Pekko got the file and gave it to Fuyiko. She only knows about it. She only knows it involves them because she knew Fuyihiko. She wouldn't care otherwise. I guess that doesn't really argue your point, but... No, I thought it was Fuyihiko that I found and then talked to her and was like, oh my god, that's such a good it's not, it's not really clear, and that's kind of why I don't really like the trial in Chapter 2 a whole lot, because it switches... Like, you don't see a killer until Pekko. Pekko's the first one you suspect is the killer. And it ends up being correct. 
No, I'm just gonna sleep. I don't wanna go to fucking breakfast. Hey! Huh? Oh, it's you, Fuyiko. Cool. Hey, Dad! It's got no. Yeah, he's already got the round blow. So, I mean, it could be Fuyiko, but I'm pretty sure during the trial they say Pekka was the one that found it first and gave it to him right away. Beep 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 I'm not gonna give breakfast. No, I don't wanna give my I don't wanna give him breakfast! Fuck! Playing any game in Bioshock trilogy. You now have an emotional attachment to the surrogate daughter. I thought this was a diesel pump shooter. Bioshock, do you promise to love her? Me. I don't think I'm your target de demographic. In Bioshock, your daughter is now in mortal hell. Me. Ah! Kirby with a gun. Who? You mean Kirby? Kirby with a gun. Where am I supposed to go? Oh yeah, don't I have to go? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Amazing. Hey, how's you? You wanna do this? You wanna do this? He says no if you ask him. I know. Oh, fuck you. Out of my way. Let's get this over with. Actually, I'm curious. Can I go into the other rooms? I totally can. Neat. Everything looks so nice and orderly. Can I go underneath the old uh, old building and stab Nagato the same way Teratero stabbed Byakuya? And now for the kinkiest scene of the game. Mmm, kinky. Anyway. If you think about it, that's, that's the first time he gets tied up. <laughs> Nagato, in the, while, while he's alone in the old building tied up, hmm, I think this awakened a new fetish in me. Alright, let's go back to Jiaki. Alright, that's who I want to talk to. Alright. She's the... She's not closest, she's only a... Wait, well, it did die, I think it was. Oh, well. No, uh... Foyuhiko is who I want to talk to, but we can't. Because he's a dick. Oh, well. Yeah, you're just trying to get the... Yeah, I know, I know. Mm. I've never seen Monokuma's arcade machine before. Did he also program the hard drive? What should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? No. Shiaki not available during chapter 4. Is it because of the situation is just that hopeless? Yep. Sure, let's take a break together. Time today, relax with the Chiaki. What shall I give you? Tips and tricks? One weird trick? Thick book has that that has hints and codes for every game ever released. The second edition now includes tips for clearing even the most difficult levels. A must-have for any true gaming fanatic. Uh, we can give it the power gauntlet. Oh yeah, we got two male, 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 male cylinders and measuring glass. Quick, what's the first one? Uh, the the, the one with the cowboy. Ah! Ah! I was thinking this. That was circle of life. Oh, we don't have any me We don't have any power gauntlets. No. Yeah, we, gave her, we gave her. We gave it to someone. Yeah, we gave it to Chi Chiaki. Um, the nitro. Yeah, we could give her the nitro racer toy car that was popular a few years ago. Nitro plus but... Well. How do you know I wanted that? 
truly surprised. I never expected you to have such an awesome secret ability. Thanks. You made me really happy. Boop. Okay. Is she sleepy again? Hey, if you're that sleepy, why don't you just go back to your room and rest? Good morning. You know, since you're here, let's talk. <laughs> if you give up at this level, you'll never delete, defeat the Warlock Lord. Adventure ended like this. That's all you're gonna get. Looks like she's half ha huh? asleep. I can't believe you didn't get my Shadow Gate joke. Hey, if you're bored, do you want to go somewhere? You might wake up if you go for a walk. Mm. I want to go to a fun place. Fun place, huh? The... Park? Supermarket? What's Shadow Gate? Oh my god! That's an actual thing! Shadow Gate is a black and white eight, 1987 point and click adventure video game, originally for the Apple Macintosh and Mac Adventure series. The game is named for its setting, Castle Shadowgate, res Residence of the Evil Warlock Lord. The player, as the last of a late, last of a great line of hero kings, is charged with the task of saving the world by defeating the Warlock Lord, who is attempted to summon up the demon Behemoth out of Hell. Later that year, a color version of the game was released for the Atari SD, and in 1989 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's a real fucking thing. <laughs> Anyway, she does want to go to the supermarket. <laughs> Should we go check out the supermarket? Yep. I like running over zombies with skateboards and wheelchairs. That's not even close to what I said, but okay. Chainsaws are the strongest, though. Sounds fun, so it's fine. I don't really know what it means, but I guess it's fine if Chiaki's okay with it. Chiaki and I walk to the supermarket together. Oh, we actually get a scene with her. Neat. We walked through the aisles and looked around without buying anything. Because this place is so big, it has an amazing selection of goods. Christmas ornaments, bamboo grass for the Star Festival. This place has too much of everything. What happened, Chiaki? What is this? These sweets look cute. Oh, those are sweet rice cakes for Girls' Day. Man, this place seriously has everything. I see. So they're, they're called sweet rice crackers. You eat them during Girls' Day, you know? Huh? What's Girls' Day? Huh? You know, it's on March 3rd. You're a girl. Didn't you celebrate it with your family? Oof. Ah, crap. I'm sure she has her reasons for not knowing, but even so, I... Ah, no, it's nothing. Forget what about what I, what I said. Um, nope, nope. I don't really mind. I did have a family. My father. You had a father? Then your mother. No, I shouldn't ask about something like that. Hey, hey! So what is Girls' Day anyway? It's a doll festival held on March 3rd. Dolls are set up so you can pray for girls' health and success. And then you eat stuff like sweet rice cake crackers, or mochi that comes in different colors. Mm. I see. <laughs> it's amazing, Hashime. You know a lot. Yeah. It's nothing, really. I'm not saying everyone is supposed to know this, but for her to not know what Girls' Day is, what kind of past does Chiaki have? It's fun to go places with someone. Plus, you teach me lots of interesting things. Okay, let's go somewhere again, okay? Yeah, let's do this again. We made that promise and left the supermarket. I need to think about a place that I can take Chiaki that will make her happy. Yeah. yeah. I took Chiaki back to her room, otherwise she'd just find a random place to fall asleep if I let her be. Amazing. Spill out. Maybe we should hang out with Chiaki again. Hey Chiaki, I'm here to bother you. I'm here to bother this animal. Chiaki's just a fucking cat that spends all her time. And she's she's at the hotel lobby again. Stretch. Big stretch. All right, Chiaki. Let's do this. Well, whenever I'm playing games, I'm, I get a strong urge to eat whatever food appears in the game. Um... So I guess I want to eat donuts right now. Let's go! Ah! I wanted a supermarket has any donuts. Alright, I should go check. We found donuts and spent time eating them and talking to each other. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Century Potpourri. An 
aromatic blend of ripened flowers, herbs, and fruit skins. You'll enjoy the smell of this potpourri for 100 years. Here you go. <laughs> you seem to be holding something pretty nice. Thanks. Thank you. No one has given me such an awesome present before. Okay. Every single time. I can't believe how quickly she falls asleep in such a short time. Samurai had Statue of Liberty. Ah, oh, don't shoot the beam there. This is bad. Zombie nation eating up humans. Is she dreaming about a game? I have no idea what kind of game she's talking about. Sorry. Sorry, I was. I think I was sleeping again. Were you playing a video game in your dream too? Yeah, it was fun because it was a shooting game. I see. So you like those kinds of games? Yep. I'm pretty all inclusive. I'll play anything from Space Invaders to the latest military shooters. Uh, I also like simulation games. Right now, I mainly play real-time strategy games, but I like turn-based ones, too. Hey, hey! So where do you want to go today? Um, how about we go to the ranch today? I don't really like animals that much. Really? Mm. They're warm if you touch them, you know. That's a little scary. It's kind of hard to guess what they'll do next. Well? I'm better at games that use precise calculations, where success and failure is decided by numerical values. But it's hard for me to play games where I have to manage relationships and guess what characters are feeling. I see. Maybe that's something to do with her upbringing. I don't want to do things Chiaki will hate, but it feels lonely just to leave her like this. How about we look at the animals from far away? The ones at the ranch are, the pr are pretty tame. You can even try to touch them if it looks safe. Ooh. Okay. I think. If you teach me lots of things, I'll probably be okay, I think. Is Sheila relying on me? So that makes me happy. Jackie and I decided to walk to the ranch. Mm. Oh my, it's a cow. Actually, that's a chicken. What? I wonder if it's gonna dance like the one in Dancing Eyes. That might be a little difficult. Maybe I should try touching it a little. Mm. It's got a weird texture. Excuse me. Mm. That ain't a cow. That's your wife. Yeah, uh, this is a pussy cat. <laughs> Chiaki walked up to the t cow and cautiously pet its back. Hmm. It's kind of moist. Stop it! <laughs> okay. The cow seemed not to mind and continued, continued silently eating the grass. <laughs> it's really warm! Oh my god. Well, that's because it's alive. Hmm. See, you're right. Unlike humans, animals don't mind being touched that much. Uh, I don't mean but I don't mind being touched, Chiaki. Not by you. If you touch a person, something is born from that interaction, right? Repulsion, anticipation, whatever. I'm nervous about stuff like that. It makes me think I'm better off not doing anything unnecessary. Like it's better if I just stay an innocent bystander for as long as I can. Jackie's feelings seem a little odd. But I do understand where she's coming from. I hope one day she can touch not just cows, but people too. Ah, uh, you know, if we milk this cow, I'm sure the fresh milk will be must be really tasty. Hey, hey! Milk this cow? Huh? Um, you know the milk that comes from cows, right? What do you mean from? Milk is milk, right? You know, if you pull a cow's udders, milk comes out. You only need one cow to get as much milk as you want. Huh? As much as you want. <laughs> but if you try to cut open a milk bottle, a cow comes out of it, right? And it dances, right? I knew it. It's definitely dancing eyes. What? What kind of game is you talking about? I explained how milk works to Chiaki in detail. Why are there so many things she doesn't know? As usual, Chiaki is full of mysteries. Because she's an AI. She's an AI! Chiaki started to feel sleepy from playing too much, so after sending her off, I returned to my room. Bing bong, bing bong. Bing dong, the witch is dead. Was there another thing, Chiaki? Yeah, I think we can we can do one more free time of that. Sleep. Oh right, I have to play the fucking game. Awesome. Hi Chiaki. Chiaki didn't see a damn thing. Ah, oh, hi, my hero. What are you doing up? Ooh. 
check my little pillow. How you doing, little buddy? Look at this little fat pebble lard. <sighs> Jawa Park. So here I am. Check in the middle with you. Damn it, does it work? Hmm. I'm inputting the cheat code. Mm. You have to play it once so you get the first two chapters, and then you gotta play it again. But I wanna see what happens if, like, if it were possible uh -huh. to even do it. Cause, like, you wouldn't know if it was your first time, right? Anyway. Ah, uh, the great nice tumbler. Mm -hmm. One more food time, right? Gimme. Hey, Buki. See Yabuki's swimsuit. Damn it. Yeah, one more free time of that before. Let me guess, Shiaki's gonna be in the hotel lobby. And once we're done with this, then we can skip ahead in time. 
skip any 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 unfortunate circumstances that may have befall anybody. Chiaki? Is she in her room? Is he she's in her room? Ooh. I can't wait to see, like, she's gonna have like nothing in it. Ding dong. Who is it? I love how I, every time they ask who it is, they're Oh! That's a, that's a nice rug. Is that like a video game character? I can't really tell. She's they're... got TV! She's got a fucking TV! Hey, why are you asking? Why are you asking if you wanted a video game console when you have fucking four in here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and the also a fucking the... arcade cabinet. What the fuck, Chiaki? You're like, oh, I wish I had an arcade ca arcade machine in my. Or I wish I had a game console. Which chapter is that? That's that's like chapter four where she says that. We're in chapter two and she has four and an arcade cabinet. Where did you get these? I can't even look at them. I can look at the poster of all things. Is that a new game that just came out? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna regret playing this, but it's that's what makes it so much fun. Where did we see that poster before? That's the movie. That's the movie. Awful movie. Oh yeah, that was in the movie theater. Mm. I don't want to spend that much energy today. I think I'd rather just sit and s sit still and read a book or something. What should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? Well, the obvious answer is yes. Hey, hey! You want to read too? Let's go to the library together. <laughs> yeah. We went to the library. Looks like she drew a little closer to me. Let's give her a uh, rose and beetle. Hey, look at that! Small rose stored in a test tube. It's good for both hellos and for farewells. In the language of flowers, a red rose it means passionate love. Here you go. <laughs> See me holding something Thanks. pretty nice. Aw, oh, passionate love! Hey, hey! Where do you want to go today? It's the first time I've seen Chiaki look so interested. And she's not even sleeping. Maybe she was looking forward to this. Let's see, why don't we check out the storage room in that old building? We might find something interesting. Yep. Like Sokoban. That's a fun game to play. It's this old puzzle game where you have to push boxes in a warehouse to their assigned spots. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Let's go! Let's win over Monami so we can go inside the storage room. She actually pumped herself up, and after winning over Monami, we went into the storage room. Mm. There's not a whole lot you can push and pull. Don't tell me you were serious about playing Sokoban in the storage room. No wonder she seems so excited about coming here. Hey, hey! Hey, Hachime, are you good at puzzle games? Nah, I'm not that good at using my brain. You think so? Really? Maybe you just don't like them because you haven't played that many? Well? Uh, you can just do the TV. Okay. Because that's easier for you. You know how you prop how to properly theorize in order to view things, and you can calmly manage when it's important. I feel like you'd be good at. I can't see. Hachime. It's dark. It's <laughs> dark. Help. Once you got the hang of it. Huh? You really see me like that? That kind of embarrasses see? me. See? For example, Rubik's cubes and jigsaw puzzles are puzzle games too. Oh yeah, I remember putting together a lot of jigsaw puzzles when I was little. See? Yep, yep. And you already know the trick, right? The trick to jigsaw puzzles. Uh... Assemble from the middle. I... I can't wait for that to be the right answer, and, and I... I'm gonna choose outer pieces, but... It's gonna be like a trick question. Let me double check. Uh, you symbol from the outer pieces, right? Yep. That's right. First you separate the pieces with edges. After right word, you separate the leftovers by color. It makes putting it together a lot easier. I see. Now I kind of feel like putting one together since it's been such a long time. Um... Uh, that reminds me. My father always programmed puzzle games. Your father is a programmer? Yep. 
Apparently he was pretty manly when he was focusing in front of his laptop. Mm. But I heard he couldn't solve the puzzle he made and it really depressed him. And since he hated losing, he actually went out of his way to write a separate program. And then he made the program do stuff like a brute force attack. Bruce... what? Um... Um... It's a way of forcibly finding the answer. No worries though, it's normal for you not to know. I don't really understand, but it seems like Chiaki also knows about programming. More importantly, why does everything she say about her father sound like hearsay? Wouldn't that mean she didn't personally see it? Hey, hey! Why she get going and hit back? Yeah, you're right. Huh? Chiaki went down on us. Ah. <laughs> what was that gasping noise you did before going down? Oh! Oh my! I quickly opened my arms and caught Chiaki. Ooh! As she fell in and um... Are you okay, my lady? Thanks. <gasps> oh! I've never tripped before in my life. You did that on purpose! Ah, she's blushing! She said that she stepped away from my chest. My heart sounds really loud. Of course it does. It's my heart. <laughs> I, can't, I can't hear my, my heart, so I, I think that sounds like... I think that's the, actually the sound of bullshit, Hajime. Well, that's... you can feel your- Oh! <laughs> that surprised me. You're pretty hard, Hajime. Uh, uh huh? Oh, uh, that is... <laughs> like me, your arms and chest are really built. You're definitely a boy. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's what, that's what I- That's said. what I thought you meant. That's what I was gonna say, too. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, that's obvious. I'm glad you caught me. That means I'll be fine in case of emergencies. Sleepy. Even if I suddenly get sleepy, I'll be fine. You can carry me. <sighs> Actually, I'm, I'm curious. Like, uh, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but how much do you weigh? Oh, 101? That's like nothing. Hold on. I, I'm curious now. Like, who's the who, who's lightest and who's heaviest? Obviously, or I guess Yaku's yeah, probably heaviest. But like, does anybody rival? No, no, even Terra Terra, who's tiny, is 152 pounds, which makes sense because he's the cook, so he probably is a little chonky. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh, Fuyiko wait. is tiny, that's right, I forgot about that. Wait, 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 go back to Nakamaro, and then go back to Byaku, 268. Uh, Byaku beats him out. No, they, they weigh the same. No, Nakamaro's 268, Byaku is 286. 286. You're fine. But yeah, Fuyihiko is tiny. He is an inch shorter than Chiaki and a whopping fucking seven pounds lighter. How the fuck are you alive? You're 4'2 and 68 pounds and a high school student. What the fuck? Wait, wait. Is she slighter than Fuyiko? Yeah, but yeah. he's 5'1". He's a full foot taller than her. Like, 11 inches taller than her. Mm-hmm. She is 4'2 and 68 pounds. Her chest size is 25 inches. God, you mad woman. I can't wait to do your free time events, honestly. What do you think is bullshit, Mona Mo Mo <laughs> Anyway, back to being hard with Chiaki. Hey, don't sleep. Did we just sleep with Chiaki? I just really tried to keep Chiaki from falling asleep, and I walked her back to her, to her room. Ah, now I need to go talk to Soda. I'm sure I won't miss anything if I travel forward in time. Hey, Soda. Bye, Soda. Hey, Soda. Bye, Soda. Where'd he go? I found his ultimate power! He's a time traveler! Alright, <laughs> now it's chapter three. Huh! 
That's weird. <laughs> She's making the making the the tribute. Oh yeah, he stabbed himself. Oh no 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 no, he no, didn't stab himself. He got, He's in the, he got stabbed. He stabbed himself later. I think that's the next chapter. Mm -hmm. He's in the no, 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 no. He's, it's not this chapter. It's this this chapter, but it's this morning. Hi, Sonia. Are we supposed to go meet him at the hospital? Nope, not yet. That's a scripted event. We talked to Kazuichi in the hospital. Hey, what's up? No, I mean, yeah, we're supposed to talk to Kazuichi in the hospital. Yes. But that's, that's, when he stabbed his yeah, stomach. Yeah, when... No, at... Yeah, when Kazuichi or Fuyuhiko stabbed his stomach, and he hasn't done that yet. Because you find the hospital on the third island, so we don't even know where Fuyuhiko is right now. this chapter for no reason, uh, just so he's Mechomaro in the next chapter, but they could have done that at the beginning of chapter four. And then they they kill three people who really didn't need to die, because Mikan's fucking motive for murder makes no sense. And like the, the scared people. Oh. Maybe I'm just mad because I actually really like Hyoko and, and the Buki. I, I could, honestly, th this game's not bad, but I feel like I could, I could do without chapters two and three. Like their trials are kind of, eh. but chapters one and four are very, very good. All right, where am I going? The no, last one's pretty good too. Last one is pretty good, but I don't know. I, I never really liked the trope. It was, it was all a video game or whatever. It was all a dream. Um, but it wasn't. It was therapy. I know, but like. Eh, I don't know. I like Chapter 5 a lot, probably probably more than Chapters 2 and 3, I guess, but not nearly as much as 1 and 4. Yeah. I like the twist that, you know, we're all the bad guys and we are the ultimate bad guy. Yeah, yeah. We are the ultimate bad guy. We are the ones that fucked everything up. Moo cow. Run, Hajime, but you'll never be able to outrun your past. Don't worry about it. What do you want from food? I'm just thinking of getting food. I don't want food yet. You can have food. I don't have any problem with you getting food. Let's go get sushi. Will we be able to get sushi? I think so. Okay, bye. Not see the movie. Hmm. Here we are at Kitty Cat's Inn. Hi there! Nobody? Nobody's here. <laughs> 
<laughs> Boogie's like, hey, this seems like a great place to hang out. because it doesn't really make you go in detail. Like, I've just been able to leave these places. I don't need to touch anything. Like, the motel is, like, notorious for this, because you don't even get to investigate any of the hotel rooms until you find the bodies. Oh, you'll go. You're better when you're an adult. We didn't even see her as an adult. She's fine in this chapter. She gets pictures. She starts getting better and then she dies. Hey Jack, what's up? Oh yeah, we got we got like the appliances over here, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Okay, we'll come. Windows XP. That's weird. No, it's just a it doesn't it's not a complete file, so we don't really learn anything super important. Uh, it doesn't connect to the internet. There's no Wi-Fi. The wizard of Mona Me. Let me buy that sticker real quick. Hey! <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? You either watch my movie or buy the sticker. I took the time to give you two, two choices, so make one. I'll watch the movie. <laughs> Sorry. Wah wah? What are you gonna do? I was watching the movie. I wonder what that happened. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Okay, so he forces. So even though he says there's two choices, he pretty much forces you to do it. Yeah, we bought a sticker for us. Oh, Monokuma or Nagato. Was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi. At the hospital. Okay, bye. Jabba Hospital. Okay, bye. Nagato's a ghost. And guess what? <laughs> That's not Well, I'm relieved. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way I can die. Um oh. <laughs> Is that Well? Are you serious? But still. <laughs> you Who knows? Um. <laughs> now then, leave it to me. That's obviously. Um. Hold on. I better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of Move. This and is bad. Then. 
Crack a mod. Jeez. However, I'm never gonna do it to you again. Huh? It? Uh, uh, <laughs> the last one here. Hey! Wait a second, Nakamaro. It was my first time. I never thought something that feels so good even existed in this world. My body still hasn't forgotten. Now you're saying you're just gonna stop all of a sudden? It's hot. My body's getting all hot just thinking about it. Hey, hey! Yeah, Kennedy, is it what I think it is? Huh? I'm not going to heed my warning. It's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. As he spat those words, Neko Maro left in patience. Wait! I can't live without it! A voice that sounded like it wanted to cling on to Neko Maro. Connick rushed out of the patient's room. Oh my! I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> it's finally quiet. It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Yoko. <laughs> nothing. I guess it makes sense. Fuyuko is the one who got, ki got Mahiro killed by Peko. Yoko is nearly framed as the killer. There's no way she's gonna get over to that. What are you Why are you making such a scary face? You know, right? Like, no matter what, it means it, right? I'm still talking about it. Hey, hey, hey! It's definitely just <laughs> All I gotta do is follow them. You think so too, right? I that didn't even start it has become a cowering inferno. Alright, I guess I'll talk to you right away, just in case. Maybe. Uh, those two in, like, an intimate relationship? Relationship? That's not how teenagers describe it. Hmm. Did you hear it? How I kind of was bleeding as she ran after me tomorrow? Her voice was oozing sexiness, dude. The more he talked about this, the more he sounds like a dirty old man. Uh, Falling after them is scary too. If I ever got caught, they might rearrange my face. If only I have more courage. Hey, Kazuichi, those who won't run will never see the goal. Whoa! Huh? Yeah? Well, it's a quote from a manga I just happened to see, and it just crossed my mind. Uh, yeah, I didn't get this quote, this scene before. I don't know why, because I talked to you. I definitely talked to you, and I think I had the item? Oh, Maybe well. you have to talk to him first thing. Talk I did, mm. so I have no idea. Mm. I don't know. Because you get the you get the talk. He's like, uh, maybe we should run after him, but I don't have enough courage, and that's where it just ends. Hajime doesn't speak up. Because I'm pretty sure I had all of the fucking uh, presents before we started chapter three. I went out of my way. Or no, did I get them during chapter three? I think you got them during chapter three. Fuck. Maybe that was it. An expiring quote. Huh? All oh, right! My eyes are open now, thanks to you! Alright, let's go run together! Huh? Me too? I should have kept my mouth shut. Let's go to our horizon! Kazurichi was filled with a weird sort of energy as we left the hospital together. We're gonna fucking watch Akane and Nekomaro go at it. It. He was practically dragging me. All right! All right, Horizon's right here! At a cottage, cottage? If you don't lower your voice, we're gonna get caught. <laughs> now, Problemo, they're already inside the cottage. When they start getting into it, there's no way they'll be able to hear their surroundings. <laughs> Let's go, my friend. Let's run to our goal. I seriously should have kept my mouth shut. There's no way I'll be able to stop him. Hmm. How about him, Hajime? Did you see anything? No, but if we keep pe peeking like this for much longer, we might get caught soon. <sighs> oh... What the? Was that Akane's voice just now? Hey! Hey! What the heck was that? That's a chick's voice and it sounds hot! Could it be? Are they really? Oh! Oh! Come on! Come I mean, on! She doesn't have a shirt on, so it's uh, that's still... I can't! I fucking can't take off the... the, the, the... My body... Just can't live without this anymore. It will not let me take the text down. That's hilarious. There's only one alternate masseuse, and that's me, Nekomaro Nida. I'll need every pressure point throughout your body, and I'll help you see a brand new world. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, oh. Possible to have an orgasm during a masseuse? Yes. Yeah. I'll blow away your fatigue! How about it? You just can't live without it anymore, huh? Ah. Hey, Hajime. Horizons are beautiful things that you keep chasing after, right? Probably. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> so, what, exi what exactly is a horizon anyway? Using that word without knowing what it is? Well... Uh, you know, it sounds kind of cool, right? Of all the words I know, that's, that one sounded the coolest. 
damn it. In the end, getting lugged around like this just made me even more tired. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Alright. Now... Oh, shit. Can you get the next What one? are you thinking? Well, okay. We got one more scene to get. Ibuki. Where's Ibuki? She has to break our door at some point during this chapter, though. There. Ibuki! Somewhere. She's out here. So. There you are. Aww. What's happened? Aww. Listen, huh? Emergency! Listen, this song is by Ibuki's favorite artist. There's no TV or radio. Yeah, we've seen those before. This is going nowhere. I do have a CD, but it's not the kind of music you like, right? Oh! Oh, this is summer festive trees. <laughs> yeah, you must not be scared of anything. You seriously showed this to me, Hajime. Huh? Is there something wrong? With you? Crap! I seriously can't believe you don't know. Hey, hey! The song "Summer Festivities" is by the Black Cherries. Those guys always got hyped as rivals of my old band. Concert promoters would be like, "Battle of the Bands," an epic showdown between the Jicks and the Dudes, and they always like to compare their ticket sales and concert attendance numbers with ours. Oh, really? <laughs> But it doesn't matter to me anymore since I left the group. Why, you? Like, music should be reduced to sales numbers. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> now, right, thanks to that CD, I've thought of something awesome. Something awesome? Yes! Okie dokie, Hajime. I have a question for you. Are you free tonight? Uh... Yes. And what time is tonight exactly? Hold on a sec! Hey, I'm the one asking the questions here. Hurry up and answer me! Tonight, huh? I'm free. Well, I guess I have some free time. <laughs> Yahoo! Nice answer. Nice. Just as expected from Hajime. Hey, hey! Now, let's see. Two hours before Monokuma makes his announcement. Let's all meet at the supermarket, okay? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I only casually promised her, but I guess it's okay. I should try not to forget. You know, fuck it. Let's talk to Okami. How was your, Yo. uh, thing yesterday? Hey, good morning. Hey, hey! You're looking better than usual. Everyone I met is like that, too. So, oh, she did! They did fucking have sex. <laughs> that after sex glow. Oh, right! She looks happy too. Hey, fuckwad. Talk to Chiaki about something. About a point of yours. Chiaki, alright. And I'll walk. Just hope Monokuma can get out of my fucking Game Boy. Nope, nope, nope. I'm pillars. Let's do this. Hey, Chucky. You want uh, a bunch of laptops at the street stall, but none of them had any games installed. Mm -hmm. I should probably check one more time. I might have overlooked one. Should I hang out with Chucky? Yep. Yeah. Wanna join me? Yeah, that's fine. Spend some time fishing through, through laptops with Chiaki. What do I have for you? Oh, we can give you a mask. We only have one though. Uh, 
down. Or we could give you the Sided dice. Set. set of dice consisting of a D4, D6, D8, D10, D12, and a D20. Celebra created to celebrate the 30 year anniversary of the, of the world famous tabletop RPG, Mazes and Monsters. Amazing. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Not have anything for Chiaki. Slap bracelet! Slap bracelet! Ghost stone. Oh, there it was. Ghost stone. Moon rock? Hey, we got a moon rock. Here. You like moon yeah, rocks, hey. right? <laughs> Thanks, I'll take good care of it and use it. Um, There's something I want to. Oh, somewhere I want to go with you today. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Anywhere is fine. It's the first time Chiaki's picked a place herself. Nice car to start in a race. Jackie took me to the beach. Oh, And she's in her full outfit. That's fine. It's totally fine. I don't, I don't care. She's looking around for some reason. Hey, why'd you pick the beach after all this time? Did you want to swim or something? Mm. Yeah, those types of games usually... <laughs> you'd put lotion on my... Whoa! Hajime fucking sweeps the fucking antenna that's like straight up. Just sweeps it down. Yeah, no, it's cool, it's cool. And you touch me in a weird place and I yell at you, it's a standard tactic. Huh? Which reminds me, where do you think the legendary tree is growing? What kind of game are you talking about now? Well? I shall give you three choices for what we're going to do from now on. Uh huh. Please select from the following three. Is this a new game of hers or something? Open the piece of paper Chiaki gave, gave me. I have to choose one of these. Happy, happy, joy, joy, Hachiaki, celebrating the ocean. Hmm. I actually want to see what all all these do. Celebrating the ocean? I don't even know what this means. Then you shouldn't have gone on that boat in the first place. Why is this choice even an option in the first place? Then, I hugged Chiaki. Just kidding. Oh, you were? I'm glad you were just kidding. If you did something that violent so suddenly, it would have been very bad. All the flags in the story would have been lowered, and the affection meter would have drastically decreased. It's pretty difficult. Happy, happy, joy, joy? What does that even mean? Hmm. Mm, I don't really know either, but it's probably something like this. Suddenly, so Chiaki started running. Catch me if you can. Uh. Peace! Okay. She continued running across the beach. I had no choice, so I ch chased after her. After chasing around for a little bit, we felt really tired and sat down on the beach. Jackie, what in the world are we doing? <sighs> I was thinking about overcoming the genre. I'm bad at it. Bad at it? Oh, I don't remember now. The other day you mentioned there are games you're not good at. Apparently my father also wasn't good at things like this. Well, this is the most difficult after all. <clears throat> I see, so this is what that feels like. Why do you feel convinced by yourself? Hey, hey! Just now, that was a date, right? I think those are usually a little different. But I sort of understand what Chiaki meant when she said she's not good at this genre. She probably means dating sims. After spending time with you, I realized something for the first time. There are a lot of things I still don't understand. For example, I don't know- I know how babies are made, but I don't really know how to fall in love with someone. That sort of thing. How would you use that as an example? What happened? What happened? Your face is red, Hashimi. Nothing happened. Yep. Just as I thought, there's still a bunch of stuff I don't know anything about. I want to know more, more about lots of things. 
Because if I do, I'll be able to understand much more, I think. Well? Can you keep teaching me, Hajime? Yeah, of course. Well, in order to do that, we need to hurry up and get off this island. Don't ever forget about me. Even after you get out of here. Huh? I don't know why Chiaki would say something like that. That's weird. Just pokes her in the head. Just silly Chiaki. There's no denying the strong bond I feel between Chiaki and myself. I will definitely get out of here and take Chiaki to a lot of different places. Yep! Woo-bam! Woohoo! Okay. No. Aw, they're cute. You've obtained a present. Yeah. I'm discussing dis different ideas about what we should go next. I return to my room. Amazing. Alright. Who next? <laughs> so I got three more events. I can... Almost do Nagato, I can almost do Mikan. Uh, everyone else would basically just be starting from scratch, so I might as well not do those. Um, I guess I'll talk to... Uh, there's three more events. Fuck it. Let's go to Mikan. Yeah, I, wanna, I wanna see what I, the inside of everybody's cottages looks like, so if I can. I wish there was like a guide somewhere that had like pictures of everybody's inside of everybody's uh, cottages, because you don't really get to see them when you want to. Okay, this 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 makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, Macan, what do you want? <laughs> I killed two people. Oh, I'm the worst. I'm the fucking worst. I am the person that has the most blood on their hand in the entire game series, except for Junko to this point. Uh, Hajime, what are you doing? What should I do? Should I invite Makan to hang out? Why the fuck not? Um. She's not available at the end of chapter 2? Why not? Oh well. Going to visit the library, would you like to come too? There's some medical books that I was thinking about studying. I mean, why the fuck not? But time learning basic first aid techniques. It looks like Khan and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Khan a present? <laughs> Not really. Alright, so I can give. A fucking page scrolled down on me. Uh, I can give you the stray jacket. I'm pretty sure I already gave you one of those, though. Um, I can. You only like love three things. Um, okay, so the next one will be Mr. Stapler, a stapler used in the medical field. As long as you set the appropriate needle, you can staple a wound closed as easy as assembling a manga. I don't know how easy that is. And then finally, the, the last and only other thing that she loves is the bandage wrap, which you actually have... Uh, ah, 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 there's a shortage of these. In some cases, you can use this to demonstrate your morbidity. Ah! Thank you very much. I will treasure this for the rest of my life. Yes! For the rest of my life, I'll never wash this hand of mine that received a gift from Hajime. This is bad. If silence goes on any longer. Um. Did I do something wrong again? Seriously, you didn't do anything. I already told you that. I just want to talk to you normally. Uh. <laughs> I see. I'm glad. If you, wanna, if you would like to talk, I don't really know what everyone likes yet. Well, there might be lots of things I'm not good at doing, but I'll do anything, so please let me know. Do anything. Of course, I'll do anything. I don't think you should say something like that so freely. <laughs> Why? I mean, before we even arrived here, everyone else didn't seem to mind. <laughs> um, I tried eating strange bugs, and I let them use my body when there wasn't anything else to write on. Also, I had to be responsible for debts and be the target for dark games, so <laughs> I'm pretty useful, you know? Hey, that doesn't sound like a joke at all. How can you be smiling when you're forced to do stuff like that? Did you actually enjoy it? Um... Obviously, I don't want to do that stuff at all. But if it makes everyone not hate me and smile at me, then it's much better. <laughs> For some reason, I feel this profound concern. Why is she like um, this? Hajime, would you like to try it out too? <laughs> do 
Doodling is very fun. Please draw on me wherever you like. Well. Also, I'm good at pretending to be a pig. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. No! Just please don't look at me like that. Ah, uh, sorry. For now, let's talk again later. You need to calm down. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I'll make sure I get it right. I'll make sure I get it right next time. So please say hi to me again. Please, I beg you. Sure, I promise. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> I'll be waiting forever. It's like I ran away or something, but I should definitely try to talk to her properly. Next. <laughs> Amazing. I returned to my room, but I felt like the god was still watching me from somewhere. Forever. Oh, well, that was weird. It's almost time to meet Ibuki. We had to meet at the supermarket. I should head over. Alright, last bonus scene of the game. Hello! Good evening, meow. Right here, Hajime. Hey, Ibuki. What's with those piles of cardboard boxes? <laughs> Summer's all about fireworks. Fireworks? <laughs> Dirty fireworks disappear in the sky. It's a lyric from Christmas festivity. That's totally it. <sighs> now, Hajime, let's carry these cardboard boxes to the beach, and I'll leave the setting up to you. What? All of this? Just the two of us? Oh, my, my. My, my. You're pretty gutsy, Hajime. Are you saying you want to be alone with me on the beach at night? Uh, no, I mean, I mean, yes, I do. Meow. I'm just kidding. I also invite the others, like Chiaki and Akane. Oh my. I see. Everyone I else see. brought all the fireworks here. We can just leave the rest to Hajime, so Ibuki and the others can change in their y yakutas. Oh. Huh. <laughs> yes, or as Sonya would say, Japanese yakutas. If you work hard here, you can see Sonya, Mikan, and Nekomaru all wearing yakutas. Why Nekomaru? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some give and take has been established. Wait, hold on. Nekamaro's coming too? If you invited him, why isn't he right here? Right <laughs> Nekamaro helped us out during the day. Now it's your turn, so I'll leave everything to you. Hey, Abuki! She didn't even hear me. I let out a sigh, picked up the cardboard boxes, and started walking towards the beast. It's not like I was lured by the Yakutas. Why is Yakuta such a fucking setting? <laughs> like, that's, that's always... I don't know. They're cute, I guess. Right, maybe fetish is the wrong word. Yahoo! A firework disappeared under the sky! Japan summer! Nervous summer! It's gonna be fine. There's no way the sparks will fall all the way here. Ooh. Where do we get fireworks? Uh, oh, wait. Amazing! That's bad. How wonderful! <gasps> this sure is fun! Everybody's in Yakuta! Hey, hey! Why is Nekomaro shouting like that? Also, why is Akane spread like that? We can totally see Upper Yakuta. <laughs> Akane. Alright, Loki, this is cute. Don't you know? That's what you do when the firework. Uh, uh, this is Tajime talking. Don't you know? That's what you do when the firework goes up. That's pretty interesting. You go, girl! <laughs> Where's Mikan? Oh, there she is. I'm, I'm blind. Hajime! Get, get him up there more! I know, I know. Oh. Hajime, once you finish launching that one, I'll trade with you. Enjoy the fireworks, too! After having such a fun time, I returned to my cottage with a feeling of satisfaction. Ding dong! Time for the fucking night time. Go to sleep. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy time, sleepy, sleepy, sleepy time, sleepy, sleepy, sleepy time. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, that's right, you broke my room. Oh, yeah. You broke in my room. Shut up, Nagato. What's up? It's the boy. What a strong lad. Oof. Oh 
Oh, chapter 4 also has 5 free time. Maybe I'll go to chapter 4. Oh, but you have to do so much before you get it to that point. I don't know. It'd be the only way to finish up the movie villains. I don't know. It might be way better to just wait, because I don't have any other scenes to get at this point. So it's just it's just finishing up chapter three so I can get the rest of the Oh wait, no, I did No I didn't. No 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 no, I'm I'm dumb. So there are four free time events in chapter three, and I did two of them. I did uh, Chiaki's first one and Mikan's second. So I got two more times. I guess fuck it. I'll go talk to Mikan. Well, there's five free time events. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just. Yeah. So then we can we can focus on everybody else all at once. Um, during like school life. So yeah, I'll, I'll do I'll do chapter four after this. I'll talk to Fuyihiko, finish him off. Oh no, but I need two. There's not gonna be enough. Fuck! I thought I was almost done for this. Oh well. So I can do two and three with my other two. Eh. Eh. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Whatever. Let me finish up chapter three. Then we'll see. Because chapter four is a really fucking long intro. It, it's not gonna be, even be worth it if I can't finish. Can't finish both of them. Why are you hiding? <laughs> can't believe someone actually slit their stomach. Why should I, oh, wait, why are you not taking care of Fuhiko? His life was already saved once, you know? How can we do something like that? Calm the fuck down, bitch. I spent time today cheering up a depressed Mikan. Looks like Mikan and I grew a little closer. Sure. What will I give you? I could give you an apron dress. Could give you safety half shoes. Oh my. Iron toe shoes. <laughs> for me? Thank you it's very been much. It's been anyone gave me something so for free. I'm so happy. Thank you, Hachime. Um, happy for. It doesn't really matter. I'm sorry I had a weird attitude too. I'm sorry! You didn't do anything wrong. It was my fault. That's definitely it. Well, I'm trying to say it was my fault, so. <laughs> Hachime, you look pale. Really? Your bloodless circulation looks worse than usual. Have you been eating breakfast? Have you been getting enough sleep? Well, I've been eating somewhat, but I guess I'm not getting enough sleep. Well, I understand you can't help it since we're in this situation. Try to avoid consuming any stimulants before you sleep. Take deep breaths and do some light stretching. <laughs> Little things like that should help you with the quality of your sleep. If you don't get enough sleep, it can weaken your immune system and lead to various illnesses. So please be careful. Also, is something the matter? No, I'm just a little surprised. I forgot to get a hold of myself again! I'm sorry! I'm terribly sorry! You're wrong. You're amazing. As expected, as expected of the ultimate nurse. Um, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just skilled at raising people's faces. I've been like this ever since I was young. I would get beaten up at school and home and lot. Uh, um, since nobody would treat me when I was hurt, I just did it myself and eventually I got good at it. That's it, really. I think you have an amazing talent for helping people. Ah, it's too bad you fucking murder two people. I mean, even now, you would notice right away that I wasn't feeling well, right? So thank you for caring about me, I guess. I always treated myself for my own sake. But one day I realized that there <laughs> people and injured people are weaker than me. Huh? Well... And if you ignore a sick or injured person, they won't be able to endure the pain. And if worse comes to worse, they'd e they could even die, right? But if I know the proper way to treat them, that means my words are absolute. Which means <laughs> they'll need me. They'll depend on me completely. That's why I can't leave the sick and injured alone. <laughs> because they always listen to what I say. I thought I was slowly starting to understand the Mikan a little by little, but I guess I was completely wrong. Fucker. Oh. may I said something unnecessary. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Do you want me to buy you something to drink? <laughs> 
I know, I know, I'm really good at imitating a sea turtle when she's about to lay eggs. What? Kristen! What? It's just this one line. That's all I want you to see. She's trying to cheer us up. What? No, you really don't have to. How? Why? Let me know if you will. I'll take care of you with all my might. No, I'm fine. Shut the fuck up. I'm really energetic all of a sudden. Really, that's great to hear. If I show her any weakness, it'll be the end of me. Amazing. I kept talking to McCons and avoided talking about the illnesses. I was exhausted when I got back to my room. Am I almost done with her? No! Wait, what? Oh, you got, uh... Uh, Princess. Yeah, I've had Princess. Okay. Oh, princess yeah, was the first, yeah, was the shoot. second one I did. Did it not update? Or is that... Am I not gonna be able to finish Mikan off? Let me fucking check again. What the fuck? I only have one more free time event today. I could have sworn that we were farther along with Mika than this. Why does she still have two more events? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, this about that. You know what, fuck it. Let's check out uh, Kazuichi and... Nekobaro's cottages. We don't have to talk to them. We just need to. We'll just sneak in, sneak out. Let me see your cottage. Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> I skipped through that dialogue, but I just wanna. <laughs> I don't really have any business here right now. All right. What's up? You know, right? I don't ask you earlier. What girl are you aiming for? Should I do? Should I talk to him? Like, uh... <laughs> See, Kazuichi is, like, really somebody I'm, I'm interested in, because he seems like a bro, but, like, we never <laughs> fucking needed to talk to him, so we didn't. Until he starts doubting it. He's, he's really good in chapters, uh, one through three, and then he, then he gets, like, really lame in chapter four, because he's the only one that doubts us. It's open! Alright, that's a, that's a that's a reasonable response. Eh, oh, that's interesting. It's got some barrels. Got some drums. Hey! Oh! I just make good jiving. Have you seen a cut, eh? Sheesh! Where is he? What is he doing? Oh, you're already taken, man, so I won't, I won't get in the way, in the way of you two. <laughs> Except when you die and I can have a con I help myself. Yeah, yeah, can I help myself? Who's else room have we not seen? Uh, yeah, let's actually just go through them all. Um, uh, definitely not Terra Terra's. Um, have we been free egos? I don't think we have because he's only available in chapters uh, four and five, and four we're, you know, not here. So I don't think we ever got to see. Oh, maybe we did in chapter five because we talked to him. We talked to him in chapter five. So I, th I think we did see food and I don't think so. Well, we can look back at the VOD. We just saw Chiaki's today. Um, we have definitely not been in Hiyoko's. Um, no, no, no Pecos. We've been in Ibuki's. I think we were in Mahiri's yeah, we were, because, because that's that's part of the that's part of Chapter Two's investigation. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. um, we're, not weirdly not. enough, I don't think we've been in Sonia's. No, 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 we have been in Sonia's because it's super fancy. She got the floor retiled. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, Akane's we have not. We all know technically we have because of the special scene, but no, we have not seen what it looks like. Um, Akane's we've been in a couple times now, and that's. Uh, well, I guess we can go on this side. 
Um, we've been in Naruto, we've been in Biakias, we've been in Gundam. So yeah, that's it. So it's just... People on the set. It's just Taro Taro. Uh... Who... Fujiko we're not sure of. I'm pretty sure this is Fujiko, so it's uh, Taro Taro. It's all the people that died right away. Kyoko. Peko. Um... Four. Kino. And a comedy. Who, who's Kino? Sorry. Wrong one. Wrong game. The Hina look alike. The Hina alike. Alright, where the fuck is Mekon then? Cause Mekon's supposed to be taking care of Fuyiko and she was she was in her room yesterday. Or er, earlier. Nakato's in the library by himself. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> Spent time with Mikan while she took a break. Looks like Mikan and I grew a little closer. Yeah, I guess. Uh, okay, what shall I give you today? Passionate glasses? No. A silver ring? No. Oh, speaking? No. Cloth wrap backpack. Oh, I've got fucking three of those. Cloth wrap with very fashionable design. Perfect for giving presents to modern girls and elders. Nothing will wrap. Nothing you wrap with this will be sent forward or backward in time. Ah, that's amazing. For me. Thank you very much. It's been a while much. since anyone gave me something for free. I'm so happy. Thanks, Hajime. <laughs> you gonna talk to me again today? Makan must be slowly opening up her legs to me if she's actually asking me that. Regardless, I feel I still feel nervous trying to think of something to talk to her about. Uh, I'm sorry. I've lost control of myself and said whatever I wanted. No, it's fine. Shut the fuck up. And <laughs> asking me someone if they want to talk is totally normal. Uh, You're making a face like there's nothing to talk to her about. She's pretty perceptive. Changing the subject probably won't work on her. Just as I thought. I'm a nuisance. No, it's true. You are a nuisance. I was worrying about what. I should stop being so mean to you. <laughs> I was worrying about what to talk to you about, but I wasn't bothered by that or anything. Besides, if I thought you were a nuisance, I never would have talked to you from the start. <laughs> well, no one's ever said that to me before. Thank you very much. I'm glad. Looks like she finally understands what I was trying to say. <laughs> Can I ask you about something? Huh? I don't mind. Hajime, did you like school? You mean before I entered Hope Speak Academy? Let's see. I didn't really like it or hate it. Well, actually, I don't think I liked it all that much. I feel the same way. <laughs> this is my first time feeling things like fun. I felt like that. I felt that for the first time after I met you all. Well, right now, we're not really at school. Even so, we're all working toward together and focusing on the same goal. For the first time, I learned that that is very fun. <laughs> Hachi, I'm glad I came to this island because we're in this situation. Everyone is finally acknowledging me. I finally feel useful. Thanks to this irrational, hopeless, dangerous situation. I never thought I'd meet someone who has actually actually thought about our situation like that. Um, hey, Hajime, do you, do you know where we... You should target someone if you want to effectively torture them? Uh, that's a good question. No, I do not. What the fuck? It looks like I really have to answer this. Uh, head... Because that's where their brain is. But if you want to torture them, you probably want to go for their stomach. Maybe. Or you probably don't go ahead. Uh, no. The correct answer is I don't know. There's no way I'd know that. Simple. You can target anywhere, really. Oh, that's worse. As long as you avoid fatal areas like the head and the stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. That makes sense. There are areas that, are, that aren't fatal, but still very painful. Touch the shoulders and back. You can punch and kick those areas, or you can put a cigarette out on them repeatedly, over and over. Is there a reason why you're mentioning this to me, Mikan? Right now, at this very moment, nobody's trying to do that to me. Because of that, this place is like heaven in me. Mikan? 
had you made this the first time I've ever talked about my feelings like this with someone. You're talking about torture with someone. This is something you're being tortured. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't hate me. I won't. There's no way I'll hate you. Unless you, like, kill two people. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thanks. It's not your fault. It's not Mikan's fault. That's definitely for certain. No matter what anyone says, there's no denying it. As I watched Mikan smile, I kept telling myself that, that over and over in my mind. Oh, damn. Mikan's a book card. I went to my room by myself. I'm gonna go talk to Makan again. I can't. I miss, uh, fucking breaking my room again. Did I get the same scene as before without even trying? <laughs> I got the extra scene in chapter three without even trying. You know what, fuck it. Because I have to walk. Where's the hair tie? Did you take my hair tie? There's a one over here, maybe? Why is it so cold? Jesus! Because I'm too hot! It's 73! No, keep it down! Yeah, why would you not take the socks off first? That's where you you keep your heat in. So as long as these are covered up, you're gonna feel hot. All right, I'm just gonna leave it here. You want a snack or something? Not something salty. Not something salty? Actually, we should figure out what we're gonna have for lunch. Yeah. If you're willing to go get stuff, go ahead. Virginia's over in. There was a hair tie right here this whole time. Um. I guess. Does that guy have store pickup? I don't know, you gotta look that up. I just don't know what's over that way that we... I guess there's a Raisin Cane's as well. I don't really want to have Raisin Cane's because we just had it yesterday, but... Uh, I don't know. Okay, look at that. You just leveled up. Controller probably died. <laughs> well, let's check on the fucking bed, I guess. Ah, ah, 15 more steps. Can we do it before the fucking controller dies again? You did it! Yes. Goodbye, you little shit. Oh! <laughs> oh god. That's what the fucking pocket was for. I want to give you something. Tranquility. 300 mono coins, which are not going anywhere. In a memory in a, in a memory note. Ooh. 
Gotta raise them all! Alright, get the fuck out of here. Alright, excellent. Um, you know, it, you didn't see the extra scene in this, well, this part, right? The concert? The concert? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, you did? Yeah, well, she just... sings metal. She sings heavy metal. No, not that scene. I just plugged it in! I still need to level up to 99. concerts in chapter three. The one that's story based and the one that isn't. This is story based. This is yeah. Huh? It's gonna be <laughs> Yeah. I guess I did uh, yeah, you were supposed to talk to Hioko earlier. I missed that. between here and the interstate. Unless you want to just go to Arby's. Don't go to sleep. Chiaki, no! Alright. I'm gonna set this here. Effectively, the stream is over. It's just to get to 99. Oh, you guys can't time travel or teleport. That's weird. Forgot about that. Alright, you get your order. No, you're, you're going to Arby's. Oh, yeah.
Thank you. 